I invite all of you to join. Hmm. I sense you all are not familiar with appraisal. Look to your left. Now, look to your right. Do you see them? Do you see someone by your side? Are they one of a kind? Do they evoke mimetic emotion where you see their face? If so, well done. You have successfully done your first ether appraisal. Perhaps their companionship shapes the ending of the path you walk. Now, imagine for a moment that you see your ending, but they have been erased from the script. A good friend is irreplaceable. The whole of causality, where they should be, floats in your memory. Uh, oh, I talk in thought sometimes, I'm sorry. Anyhow, I will now open an invite plus portal to Eternic Village. Eternic Village, my friends. Just a moment. Don't click or don't enter the portal. Wait for it to stabilize until I give the signal. Public. Ah, friends, apologies. Please do not enter this portal. I clicked public <laughs> by accident. Silly me. Please wait just a moment. Well, I'm only human, aren't I? <laughs> no, I thought you were a medic entity with Kiwi goodness. Metaphysical, I think. Boop, 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 boop. Shush. I think you're right on that one, Jet. Ah, there we go. Oh. All right, it's stable. Everyone enter. <laughs> so cute. That uh, voice just now. Uh, it was different, wasn't it? But we still share half of the voice. Telling someone to come back. Oh. I'm just trying to assign names. It's difficult. Oh, <laughs> well, it needs to be anyone else. Lost. This is reminding me of a match. Mm, yes. 
Alright, I will do the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no. No. Oh no, I'm not gonna be sure. I'll actually die if I do. Right. <laughs> One minute until we begin. One more minute. I think so. Capacity has hit its soft limit. However, the world capacity hard limit is 40, and we have not yet hit that. So, if your friends are still <laughs> trying to get in, the only way for <laughs> them to get in is to send a invite request to you, and for you to accept. That's the only way in. I'll give an additional two minutes for you to get your friends in. Ella yeah. isn't here. Oh. I'll send you yeah, something on Discord. Oh. Okay. You sent me an invite again, or an invite request again. I'll send you all the pictures. Than what we've done. There we go. That one's a completely 
Kill my soul eater? Yeah. again for those of you trying to get your friends to join the only way in a world past its soft limit capacity is for them to send you an invite request and for you to accept the hard limit is 40 this world is at 20 we are past the world limit but uh, we have not yet reached 40 so there should be room for others now the story begins The appraiser makes her way through the western lush mountains. She smiles as she walks alone, passing through various old ruins. Her adventurous spirit powers her forward. She sees everything in front of her as a beautiful thing to learn about. This would be her first time exploring this region. The everlasting quest to find a new flavor of ether guides her. She's been traveling for as long as she can remember. Walking through a dark moss-covered tunnel of carved stone, she then emerges into a beautiful hidden valley lined with high waterfalls. A bright village lies at its center. As if waiting for her. Incredible. It's just as beautiful as I've heard. All right, let's check my position. Okay, uh, huh? Why is my compass spinning? Uh, some sort of magnetic disturbance around me? Okay, of course. There is definitely something going on in this place. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I will find a pure crystal here. I can already sense it. Hmm. Ah, welcome to Eternic Village. The appraiser audibly welcomes herself to Eternic Village, grinning into the sky. A moment passes. She adjusts her merchant backpack, and looking straight ahead, she moves confidently onward. My friends, this way. To infinity and beyond. <laughs> oh, we're running, we're running. <laughs> Path's pretty fucking beautiful, if I have to say. Yeah, I wish we could take it in more, but we're just. It's definitely. Like, to me, less, you know, hard on the eyes. For some reason. Hmm. This should be super bright. Alright, my friends, my fellow tour guide, Rendizo, over there, the Toho, go Toho goddess, they will function as the caboose. They will see and head up the back end of the tour. Once I see Rendizo arrive and standing next to me, I know that everyone else has arrived and I can continue narration. The story continues. My friends, there are treasure chests scattered around this world. Please refrain from opening them until a quest requires it. The, the appraiser sees this and stops before the bridge to focus on the ether in the air. This feeling 
Wow, this is definitely a new emotion ether. A crystal for sure, but why is it so familiar? Hello there, Mill. An old man calls from up an orange tree, breaking her train of thought. She sees an overstuffed canvas pig sack is strapped over his shoulder and tied to his waist. It looks ready to burst in a second. The old man nearly falls, trying to free one hand to wave. Oh, hello. Careful now. You are quite high up there. Where is your ladder, Pox? Oh, it fell over the... Oh, here it is. Let's put it back against the tree. You'll never get, you'll never get down with that many oranges on your person. Why don't you take what you have home and come back later for more? Home? I could have sworn it was mad. Miss, no can do. You see, the harvest has started and I woke up especially early this morning to get picking before the dawn, kids. Anyway, thanks for your help and uh, oh, your pack. You're a traveling merchant, aren't you? Indeed, Pop. I'm here to roll coin, eat hearty, trade booty, and make friends. <laughs> oh, I love it. Welcome to Eternity Village, your spirit and laugh. The market is just down the way. Please, see yourself down the road. The friendly villager returns to picking villages. Focused. The appraiser crosses the bridge towards the market. How dare you? Sucks. I don't I was like about oranges. to say the same thing. <laughs> oranges are delicious. <laughs> they make me I gag when I like eat them. Fucking right? orange. I hate feeling them. What? That feeling oh, I feel bad for you. Orange juice is great. I like oranges, though. Uh, or I like, I like oranges, oranges, but I don't like oranges with fruit. Ah. Well, they're just annoying to peel, but that's about it. getting like Twilight Princess vibes. I'm just getting a shit ton of video game vibes right now. This feels like Twilight Princess. I mean, it does seem like a pretty good video game. It, it feels like a video game It's an audio. I love, I love the music in this. I really do. Game. <laughs> Friends, the story continues. The appraiser enters the town square, the central point of the village. She studies her surroundings, observing all the people busy preparing for the day. She tries to hone in on the ether crystal, but the air is too thick with all kinds of buzzing flavors. Ether melons, get your ether melons here. One bite and you will be in your mama's arms again. Warm bread, wheat, rye, wonder, sourdough, banana, corn, ginger, pumpkin, nickel. We got it all. Fresh fish, seafaring sea demons caught fresh from the Ava River. Got some squiddy things here from last night's catch too. The appraiser. 
appraiser smiles. One thing's for sure. This place is full of interesting stories and new friends, and she already loves it. The appraiser runs out into the center of the street and spins in place to see all the possible locations, her arms out as if she is dancing with the village itself. Ah, let's see. We just came from the orange grove near the entrance bridge. In the market, we have the magic bazaar and the baker's stall. Down the way, we have the pumpkin patch. Then further down are what looks like the village docks. Hmm. The other way leads to some rolling fields with, uh, that's a farmhouse. Yeah. And what's that? Also, uh, a big hill of windmills over there. A windmill hill. Hmm. I think I noticed a weird smelling windmill on the way in here, too. Also, is that singing I hear? It sounds familiar. Hmm. Okay, okay. Finally, there is that giant tree up that way. There is surely something interesting going on there. Mm-hmm. Okay, focus. I need to find that crystal. I wonder where I should look first. My friends, while remaining here, please discuss which location the appraiser will explore. You have 60 seconds. Baker's doll, Baker's doll. I'm thinking of Baker's doll. 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 Baker's
the appraiser makes her way to the baker's stall. The air is warm and sweet. She begins to walk on her tippy toes with her nose in the air, following the spell of carb magic. <laughs> She looks down and sees a colorful assortment of bread. Some are lightly engraved with little designs. She can sense the ether infused in those. Mm, I bet this one tastes like purple. A plump lady with big rosy cheeks bounces over to the counter. That's right. You're a clever one, able to tell the ether type by just the smell. You're not from around here, are you? Well, you can't pass through the western lush mountains without trying some of my bread. My bakery is known for having an exotic variety made from rare ingredients. Yes, it's rare. Would you like a sample? Actually, I'd like to buy a whole loaf of this here ether-infused blueberry bread. Wait. Make it two loaves of the blueberry bread. Oh, how wonderful. You have made my day. I know the price is high, but it is my passion to use rare ingredients for bread. They are just so awfully expensive to acquire. Thank you so very much. The appraiser hands over a fat stack of coin and immediately begins chomping on the bread. Mm. 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 I'm looking for an ether crystal. Rumor is, there is one in this village. Hmm, I haven't heard any rumors. There, ah, uh, yeah, there are infusers and alchemists here in the village, though. They may likely know something about it. Uh, I'll let warn it for you. There are an odd bunch. The appraiser says goodbye to the rosy-cheeked baker and stands in the street, still nibbling on one of the loaves. My friends, please, only one of you take one of the bread items from the baker's stall and carry it with us during the tour. Take care not to lose it. The appraiser then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, where will the appraiser go next? You have 60 seconds to decide. We go to the orange grove. Orange grove, all right. Oh no, oranges. Are we feeding the bread with oranges? <laughs> oranges. No. You'll see. You'll see. Oranges are I better than bread. I love how you should have the same response. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, from what I've heard, annoying uh, oranges can be quite annoying. <laughs> I wouldn't give the men with this loaf of bread. <laughs> Like a javelin. That is a we're only supposed to touch one thing of bread. Yes. <laughs> that bread is larger than me. Touch nothing but the lamp. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a big bread. It's a big piece of bread. You, well, you do, you do have a lot of growing to do, mate. Oh dear. I need milk. Listen, I drank milk when I was a child. <laughs> That's the source of our mini. I like it. I'm having fun watching <laughs> Oh, we've talked quite a bit of it already, already, but there's stuff we have yet to figure out. The narrator just said, touch nothing but the lamp. Daryl, I went to the tree, touch the lamp. I'll take it touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. I love lamps. Yeah. <laughs> so, oranges? 
Sounds good to me. Grow. I don't think that cat mm -hmm. being that close to the bread is sanitary. It smells like bread. I don't think so either. I think this, this is an FTA like problem right here. Does the FTA exist in this world? It smells like the, the feudal, the feudal drug it sounds like you all have reached a decision, as you are now talking about cat feces. Birthday next Thanksgiving. My friends, the story I don't have any continues. Is your next destination the Orange Grove? Have I heard that correctly? Indeed, sir. That's it, yeah, right. Does anyone object to going to the Orange Grove next? Silence is platinum. My friends, this way. Let's kill the old man! Why does everybody want to kill the old man? Jesus! Because <laughs> that loaf of bread is huge! And? It's a murder weapon, I'm telling you! Listen, how thick that bread is? And then you can kill anybody with that thick of bread. Murder is bad. No. I don't fucking care. Here, my friends, the story continues. The appraiser returns to the orange grove near the entrance bridge. There, she sees the orange picker sitting down under one, one of the trees, concentrating with an orange in one hand and a dagger in the other. would think of, right? You know, just like those fancy magic bread loafs. Oh, look here. It looks like I have no idea what I'm doing, though. Hmm. You mean one of these magic bread loafs? The appraiser holds out the blueberry ether infused bread. Just then, a pack of rowdy kids come parading over the bridge. They stop in front of the orange tree. But one of them sniffs the air. Quickly, the whole pack is alerted and surrounds the appraiser, eyeing the expensive bread in her hand. 
Fraser looks over the small crowd and watches as the orange picker frowns and looks down at his oranges. She, she has an idea. And she asks the hungry kids to make a deal. Leave the orange trees alone today and she will give all of them the entire loaf. The hungry kids quickly agree. They take the bread and scurry back across the bridge. some top-shelf dough you just handed over. Oh, well now, I'll have the whole day to pick as many oranges as I want. Oh, please take this old dagger. It has a little ether inside itself. I'm sure you will make better use of it than me. My friends, Please replace the infused dagger in the chest with the bread loaf. The appraiser accepts the trade and studies the dagger. The worn designs appear ceremonial. The blade itself is in perfect condition. She can tell the steel is infused by engravings along the sides that still give off a faint magic. She turns to face the village and reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you have the pumpkin patch, the smelly mill, the docks, the farmhouse, the giant tree, Windmill Hill, and wherever that mysterious singing is coming from, you have 60 seconds to decide where the appraiser will search next for the ether crystal. And that's your family, that's your family. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, What's the deal with that stinky windmill? Magic. Does anyone know where it's supposed to go? Jesus. The magic designer. I have no idea. I'm just going around taking pictures. Yeah, no, I could That's tell. Fair. I'm just here to be here. Just look. Wonderful. The magic of the world. Well, thank you for your wisdom. What do you guys look for if you have anything? I just want to say smelly mill. Thanks, by the way, Sal. Oh. oh. What? Uh, my brain uh, lost track of my brain. What? Invite. Thanks for the invite. Or, uh, oh, me join. Yeah, thank you. Wait. Oh, am I on blue? Oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. I, no, I had to request an invite. I still had to request one. Yeah. I didn't see it though. Blue means I accept. Oh. Oh, whoops. You're welcome. Though. Oh well, it's uh. I worked on the Okay, well. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait, for, for what? Wait a second, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> I was like, you're welcome. Yeah. For what, though? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, <laughs> right. are we going to do a good you know, we're going? Got it. You guys think I'm away from sharp objects. You hear that, Al? No sharp objects for you. Why not? Wait, objects? Why no? Why no? Why not? No. Why not? Why not? Ten seconds remaining. One second has passed. <laughs> I know I am. Two seconds have passed. I will hype it up for you because I know I am. I'll never be. That's a fucking lie. No, I'm not. I guess you're going to the bar then.
Doink, doink. Yeah. Uh, uh, time doink. has expired. My friends, listen carefully. And... I know that many of you here are new to the tours, and you are wondering why we are going from area to area that everyone seems to know the answer to. Allow me to explain. You see, in VR Travelers, our tours are puzzles to be solved. The appraiser is no different. Each path, each location the appraiser must explore it is a place that everyone has tried before. With trial and error, the group has selected locations that have been the wrong locations in a chain of events that have led them to the good ending. It's been a long and hard process, but they finally made it. You joining now, you've caught them. Where they haven't yet reached the good ending, but they're close. They know how to get there. And they know the path. That's why you have people around you telling you that you must go to this location because they've tried the other locations and it's led them to the bad ending. But there are secrets that even they haven't discovered yet. So don't be afraid to voice what you think. I've never voiced what I care about. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, you okay, cared to speak up just now. You just did, huh? Why, why? Let's see yeah, you just did. Acting a silent Got him. <laughs> Brave soul, who said that you have never cared to what you speak about. Please tell me, what does the group say for the location that we must travel to next? <laughs> the Magic Bazaar. Does anyone object? Remember. No. Not well, to check. my friends, this way. <laughs> Got him! And on we go again. Is that from something? Time to follow yeah. the test select the test the test select 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 following the test select wherever he may go. Well, is he not a test select? They're not a tesseract. Yeah. Not a tesseract. I am inside a giant fire demon. Let's go. Shape, shape of you plays. <laughs> I bet it's a hidden Ubisoft logo. Shape of you intensifies. <laughs> it's an Ubisoft logo. <laughs> Come on, be my baby. I was gonna say, 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 I was gonna Yes. My friends, welcome. For the individual among you that was singing a song, you said that my love is to save your view. What is the next line? Please continue to sing. Come on, Ed, you got this. I'm in love. You can fall in love. You. Instance. I I don't know. I have to do the whole fuck you song. I can't just do one lyric. Listen, no one knows the actual lyrics to that song, okay? Everyone. I do, I do. Everyone, I beg your silence. I'll have you all know that techno stuff has an angelic voice. Techno, thank you. I thoroughly enjoyed that. now be singing at the rendezvous after the tour. I have booked you. You have accepted. Thank you. I've <laughs> <laughs> accepted for you. Fuck yeah, concert. Are the tickets free when they're free? No. No. Always. Shit. Wait, what does it cost? <laughs> You're a Three you ever been to Coachella? Time? My friends, it cost bandwidth. My friends, the story continues. <laughs> oh, you have a writer 
The appraiser senses ether in the air as she approaches the mysterious stall of the Magic Bazaar, which is mysteriously quiet inside despite its position in the mysterious central market. Inside are various mysterious items like jewelry, ceramics, vials, and mysterious books. The appraiser ignores them all and continues to stare at a mysterious tall stack of dark books on the table. Suddenly... A mysterious voice comes from the shadows. It seems you've met with a... Uh, uh, an uncertain fate. You find yourself at... Uh, uh, shop a very short youth wearing a dark blue hooded robe steps out from the shadows the appraiser smiles and holds her nose with one hand and motions to shake his hand with the other thank you for the mysterious welcome but please will you extinguish your ether appreciate the dramatic effect of, uh, making your customers constantly feel the word mysterious flash in their mind, but it is mysteriously overwhelming. Every other mysterious word, uh, I, I, I want to say comes out as ugh, the M word. So sorry, I didn't know it would affect some people so strongly. Oh, okay there. I've extinguished the oil. Are you, uh, mysteriously okay? <laughs> I, I just wanted to make my presence, my brand, known here in the market. My brand, you see. My brand. With the harvest starting, it's, it's hard to compete with all the... many emotion combinations to invoke. I, I found it easy to think about what I want the atom to do and, well, to let the flow of ether guide my engraving tool. But, you see, I don't understand the language I end up writing at all. It's not a language, really. It's more like a design that triggers a mimetic effect of a shared unconscious... Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I know that sounded weird. What I meant to say was, uh, why don't you engrave and infuse food? There is high demand for that. Oh, wow, lady. Y you sure are smart, but I can't infuse food, though. That requires skill beyond me. You see, I've tried before, and it, it, it doesn't work. I disagree. Looking at your work here, your skill is more than enough. What you need is a better tool. A tool for food. How about this infused dagger? I'm sure this belonged to an expert engraver. An engraver of delicate materials, for sure. Serious. The craftsmanship is superb. I feel confidence from just looking at the engravings on it. I'm afraid I, I don't have anything of matching value to trade you. Wait. I do have one very mysterious thing. A uh, mysterious.
this appraiser please follow me into that uh, that mysterious alley uh, behind my house in the dark please <laughs> Continues. Listen carefully. The appraiser follows, and the infuser shows an item from the back alley. This is a magic lantern. I made it after a mysterious dream. This lamp never goes out. No matter where you put it, I have no idea where or uh, uh, how to replicate what it, what I did here. I made it. I promise you I made this. But I can't remember how I did it. I did it in a dream and I, I, I can't remember the dream. I think you would remember how to make it if you quit burning that ether air infuser. Is that even oil that you put in it? Oh, uh, no. I use the ink from the squiddy monsters the fishers throw away. If you drink a mug of it, you will black out and you will have vivid dreams from another world. Uh, infusing it with ether into the air just makes you feel, uh, everything is, everything is well, uh, but, you know. Don't say <laughs> the word. Y don't say it. You got a deal. Let's trade. Now, I am looking, listen here, I am looking for an ether crystal. I sense one in this village. Please, have you heard any... Uh, any mysterious rumors? Oh, I saw one. The Royal Knight visiting our village. He was carrying it. Yes, he's still here over at the time tree. Uh, you know, the time tree, the one that we all pray at. Uh, well, good luck getting through the squire, though. I hear there's, uh, there's things that, well, you'll see. My friends, please replace the magic lantern in the chest with the infused dagger. The appraiser says goodbye to the mysterious infuser and then reviews all the places she can explore. The following locations are... Windmill Hill, the Farmer's House, the Pumpkin Patch, the Giant Tree, the Smelly Mill, and wherever that mysterious singing is coming from. 
You have, as a group, 60 seconds to decide where the appraiser will go next. Time tree. Put that on. Let's go, let's go check out that night. I bet you a million bucks. Well, you said he got the ink. That's how he made the landing, right? Here we go, guys. Help me. Yeah. Help me. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should go to the docks. Yes, yes, the docks. Ah, uh, yes. Put the giant Let's go to the docks. Why are you stabbing with the lantern? You're going to fucking lose the thing. Lost lantern privileges. Do lost lantern no. privileges. No. You lost lantern privileges. <laughs> Friends. Friends. Are we supposed to be talking about where we're going or the place we're going? They already they already picked the time tree. I We're gonna go to the docks and check out the that mysterious ink. Sorry, never mind the docks. No. Touch nothing but the lamp! Okay, I'm just working on my friend. Surpasses me as yet you might not be might not be immortal and I am wrong. If so, one thousand apologies. And I hope that you understand that you are really good. My friends, the story <laughs> continues. Someone speak up. Where does the appraiser explore next for the ether crystal? Fish town. Uh, the docks. Yeah, the docks. The docks, fam, squad. Fishy, fishy, apparently. Docks. Okay, cool. Oh, oh wait, also, this is my, this is my brother's friend, Devil Slayer. Uh, do you know <laughs> from the Unis Mundus, I have observed oh, your oh. mortal world, and I understood a cultural reference that is. Uh, let's calculate here. 30 to... Oh, it's only 10% appropriate. My apologies, but our next location is the docks, as in, what's up, doc? My friend's this oh, way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's up, yak? Follow books, buddy. What's up, doc? What's that, rabbit? What's up, yak? So... Question. What would happen if <clears throat> he ate an apple instead of a carrot? Would it keep the dog Stop. away? Stop. <laughs> what if he what if he <laughs> <killed him? laughs> I'm in 
love with your aim sex. Oh, what do you think? My B hops? My CS Oh, so oh, the song just. All of that speed just uh -huh. one time jump. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> 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 yeah, okay. 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 My friends, your attention, people, please. People are starting to start playing. Continues. People are starting to load friends, it now. I have an interesting challenge for all of you. It Especially that, that guy, Jesus Christ. It seems that we are succeeding. Huge. That <laughs> all of you are following and having a good time together as intended. That is the objective of the RC. As I was told directly by one of the developers. But I want to surpass their expectations. Yes, I want to impress the developers of VR chat. I do not carry proof and I do not intend to save proof to show and uh, bring to them. What I do want to do is build stories that they will eventually hear. And thus, I present a challenge to you. This tour is around 75% complete. However, at this time, I challenge all of you to form a friendship with someone here that you do not know. And maintain that friendship after the tour and maintain it in subsequent tours or visits to other worlds and use VR chat as a medium to build <laughs> Who are you, dude? My friends, wait, 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 don't <laughs> start yet. I know you're eager. Please listen. I know you're eager, but there are others What's your name? that have not been spoken to yet that are still deserving of your attention. So listen. Please, this is a bright spot in the world today, and by no means am I responsible for it. Everything that you do here is the goodness of you all and the accomplishment of you all. Make sure that the memories you build here are not uh, referenced by simply VR chat. They are referenced by the friends you make. If someone asks you, why do you love VR chat? Don't say because of VR travelers. I met a lot of friends there. No, no, no. Yes, that may be true for some of you, but the truth is that you met friends here because you are you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. All right. I'm extremely sorry for being corny. <laughs> And the story continues. So, oh, hey, um. <laughs> the appraiser turns to face Sorry, the sound of ringing oh, ship yeah. bells. With her hands softly held together at her front waist, she trots happily down the scenic path toward the docks. In the distance, she observes several fishers line the waters one of which seems to struggle, or to be struggling, to reel in a catch. The fisher nearly gets pulled over the edge, and the appraiser grits her teeth and brings her hands up to squish her own cheeks in suspense. Finally, with the help of others nearby, the catch is pulled over the dock. It appears to be a squid type monster and all the villagers surrounding well they trade looks of despair the appraiser notices and she feels bad she continues walking toward the docks 
She then notices a tall woman with sun-bleached hair casting her own line off another pier with an empty fish bucket at her side. She meanders over and watches with curiosity as the tall fisher. She casts her lure and it sinks beneath the dark water. this morning and other fishes over there seem to uh, not be having any luck either and has the water always been this murky ah yeah it's been this way for weeks now these squiddy monsters rode in with the southern currents and they made fishing nearly impossible you even make the slightest movement and they ink up the water, blinding all the fish. What's worse is they drive off. <laughs> They're nasty little buggers and they bite our hooked fish and our hands if we're not careful. Hmm. Southern uh, current, huh? Have you tried fishing outside of the village on a larger ship with a... You know, a, a trawl net? A trawl net? Well, of course. The village only owns one trawler and all the fishers share it. I have my shift on it and... Oh, that's all I have now. The sun-bleached fisher looks over at her conversation partner for the first time. The appraiser watches as the fisher gloomily studies her merchant pack and traveling boots. Uh, you want out, don't you? Y you're out here waiting for your shift on that vessel to... Uh, so you can catch a glimpse of the world out there. That's what you want, isn't it? see the world my father told me about my dream is to well my dream is to eventually earn enough here to buy my own ship and captain my own crew i'll sail the open ocean go further than the aquavi islands no more mountains between me and that horizon no but 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 now I can't even do that. Eternix One has reported the squiddies out in the seas biting through our nets. Listen, don't give up. No traveler worth their ether would let any barrier to new worlds stop them. Let's see. I may have something that could help you. Trust me. I know. Try hanging this. This magic lantern underwater, where you want to cast your lures. Try this here. The fisher is thrilled to see that the magic lantern not only remains lit underwater, but also drives away the squiddy monsters while attracting fish. In her excitement, she motions to wait and runs off. She returns with an interesting looking shield that the appraiser immediately senses is heavily infused. I pulled this up from the ocean floor. Way out off the... I can tell it has some magic quality to it, though I... Never had no use for it. What say you? Is it a fair trade? You got yourself a deal. Let's shake on it. Oh, by the way, check out the... Check out the... The... Uh... M mysterious magic bazaar in the market for the, uh... The, the waterproof lanterns. 
my friends. Please replace the infused shield in this chest with the magic lantern you carry. The appraiser says goodbye to the tall, sun-bleached fisher and then reviews all the places she can explore. The next available locations are the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, the giant tree, the smelly mill, windmill hill, and wherever that mysterious singing is coming from, you have 60 seconds to decide where the appraiser will search for the ether crystal next. I can only, I, I can't, I think I have a good guess as to why it smells. I mean, we'll follow our noses there. <laughs> <laughs> a nice one. I did just have five songs <laughs> lyrics pulled up on my computer. Yo! Look, if I'm going to fulfill the quote, I'm going to fulfill the quote. Yo! Wow. You're the best that will be you can do. I am I am glad that you can hear me. Brother, I require, I require your loops, brother. 
very Give well. Me your My friends, this is the favorite of many in the tour, and I must beg. My friends, I must beg your forgiveness for the next part of the tour. Please follow me to the next location. And I and I beg your forgiveness for what is about to happen. You'll see. This this can't remember. This part I become a good It's like I said, I have I have horrible memories for these things. I'm scared. Scared. It's gonna be like a smelly, piss-filled windmill. Drunken sailor. Uh, uh, rises rises uh, hey, uh, and up she rises. Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey. Oh my I would like to apologize in advance to and I will not stop laughing throughout this whole thing. Mostly. Yeah, thank you. I'm laughing beforehand. This I, I can't, you know, oh no, I can't understand. Excuse me, Dick. Friends. Don't you dare do it. Don't you fucking dare do it. Your neck looks intriguing. Friends. Sorry. Apologies. I'm so sorry, friends. Listen carefully. The story <laughs> continues. Look at all of you here in unison, listening and having fun together. This is what it's all about, isn't it? This is what VR chat was made for. Sorry. Okay, let's continue the story. My friends, the appraiser flares her nostrils to pick up on that smelly odor she passed through earlier. She sniffs hard near the door and immediately goes bug-eyed, regretting the action. By, by the gods, it, it burns. This is not ether. <laughs> My poor nose it burns. Suddenly, the door to the smelly mill opens and out steps a ridiculously buff man with platinum blonde hair. <laughs> that is curse. My dearest <laughs> Bell of the Farm, is that you? Have you finally come to your senses? The appraiser remains keeled over in pain, complaining of the burning. Yes, my sweet, you have finally noticed the burning passion between us. It's hot, isn't it? <laughs> the appraiser rubs her watering eyes and continues to groan. The small man reaches into the unnecessarily wide v-neck opening of his tight black leather onesie and pulls out a lacy pink handkerchief. <laughs> He dangles it near her face as she looks up to the sky. Oh yes, 
Here I am, my sweet field flower. Finally, you have realized I am the worthiest crop for your hands to harvest this year. <laughs> She reaches for the handkerchief, but grimaces and instead reaches into her pack for her own cloth to wipe her eyes and nose with. Eventually, eventually she stands up straight and regains her composure. She then has a chance to observe the bulging man and her bug-eyed expression immediately returns. She looks up and sees his hair. It is shiny, much too shiny, and slicked down over one side of his head. She keeps following it like a forbidden journey for her eyes. The platinum blonde hair is styled into a long drill, spiraling all the way down to his thigh. She reaches the end, and she just, she just stares at the ground below the hair drill in defeat. Huh? What? You are just another villager. You can't just make weird noises outside someone's door. People might think you're a weirdo. Anyways, I am the Alchemist Angel of Eternic. I assume you are here to buy my famous beauty elixirs? <laughs> well, oh yeah. G come on inside, but don't touch anything. To keep my potions pure, I keep high sanitary standards. Before the appraiser can even introduce herself, the alchemist squeezes back into his mill. She ties her cloth around her face to cover her nose and follows. Inside, the alchemist is sitting on a jeweled round ottoman. With one hand, he grips a long wooden spoon, stirring the bubbling contents of a large cauldron. And with the other, he touches his face while turned toward an ornate mirror on the wall. The appraiser decides to just stand near the door and, uh, and, uh, look. I'm, I'm looking for, yes, yes, I know, you want a beauty elixir. Max strength, I'm sure. Well, you're out of luck. You see, lately my potions all end up with impurities. Actually, no, I... Even the slightest contamination can ruin a potion's effect, and I would never sell anything less than a perfect product. No way. No missy. As the alchemist goes on, the appraiser begins to notice his hair drill is dipping into the cauldron as he talks. His reflection is in the mirror as as if he's talking with it. Um, hey, you're holding my standards too high? Missing out on business? No, the Alchemist Angel of Eternic has a reputation to uphold. No, 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 you... You need to look at the bigger picture. I am. If I don't pursue perfection, then I would not be the buffet of manliness than I, that only the sweet farmer of... That's... That's not what... Not what you're here to talk about. Right. All you care about is shallow beauty. Your... Your... You just don't see what's going on here at all, do you, Missy? The appraiser pulls out the infused shield and slams it over the cauldron and yells, D Drill! Uh, weirdo! <gasps> oh, you, you, you are a genius! Suddenly, the alchemist pulls a 
hand drill out of his onesie and begins drilling a hole right through the infused oh shield. God. The appraiser watches in horror, once again a guide. <laughs> this, this, perfect. The ether effect will protect my cauldron from contaminants, and the hole is big enough for this spoon. Lovely, my day is safe. <laughs> the angels sing. You see, you want that industrial strength beauty elixir, don't you? Well, <laughs> do me a favor. <laughs> While I make you one on the house, take this potion here and give it to the most beautiful citizen of Eternic. You know who that is, don't you? You know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Tell them it's a gift from the alchemist angel. Take it. The appraiser takes the bottle and checks it. The label on the side reads, Angel Sweat in Silver Ink. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else want to hold this instead now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, 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 just don't drink it. Don't drink it. Trust me, I know what happens if you drink it. I love how Curse yeah, is just that. running to it. <laughs> oh, I'm on a, I'm on a tour. That's what I do. After this experience, I think oh, she deserves well. to hold the angel sweat. <laughs> 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 Yes, thank you. Please listen. Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't mess up the gate. There you go. Well, uh, the script moved. Just a moment. <laughs> I thought this was improv! Yes, this oh is God. amazing. <laughs> yeah, it would be. That it would be, be totally insane. insane. Never heard the story before, just oh, this this improv is so Alright, alright, alright. Hey, excuse me, Miss Appraiser. Miss, oh, Miss Appraiser, right. listen carefully. Uh -oh. oh my god, shut up. Miss Appraiser, listen carefully. <laughs> make sure they, like, like, make, make sure they drink every last drop. What? No, 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 don't look at me like that. What's that look for? <laughs> Do not think like that. I mixed my essence into it, so they will only fall in love with my scent. Real love potions don't work with sight. What are you, a weirdo? <laughs> the alchemist places the potion in the appraiser's hand. While she is still staring at the ruined shield. My friends, please replace the love potion in this chest with the infused shield. The appraiser decides not to ask anything and leave forever. She then reviews all the places she can explore. The locations are the pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, windmill hill, the giant tree, and wherever that singing is coming from. You have 60 seconds to decide the appraiser's next location in search of the ether crystal. We're not going to drop off the singing. Uh, okay, so we're going to sing this. Singing. Singing. Probably a good idea. Singing. Oh, so we're taking this. I mean, they said the most beautiful. Yo, we're singing to the moon. And let me sing. Come on, give me a song. Come on, give me a song. Let me sing. 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 Let me s
So that's why you're eager coming, coming up. Here. <laughs> 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 order it at the bar. Please, please order it at the bar tonight. <laughs> you know what? Yes, I will do so, and I will drink every last drop. Morocco, can I just say I really? Okay, come here, big boy. No, no, not right now. No drinking right now. No, no. Hey, 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 Oh my god, caffeine is getting good. I managed to help my performance a lot. I managed to start from scratch. Okay, probably going with Blender and that is this? This is brand new. Very difficult John, to... Sorry, I'm very difficult my friends. <laughs> Don't worry around there. My friends. And, uh, <laughs> my friends. Your attention, please. My friends. My friends. Your attention, please. Time has expired, and I must ask all of you in unison. What is the next locate or where is the next location the appraiser will explore for the ether crystal? Mysterious singing. Mysterious singing. This time not from techno. Uh, good choice, my friends. Now, my friends, listen carefully. My beloved and talented fellow tour guide, Trey Jim, is absent today, and therefore I will be playing the part of his roles. No worries, all endings are fully accessible. Now, my friends, follow me. What happened to Trey Jim? Um, He's gone this weekend, that's all. You, he dumped all the loads on you, eh? He ditched his job. Zane, Zane, what, what happened to him? What happened to our boy? He's in the rotten tub. Did, did our boy get sick? Is no, he just in the void. You got done, Jim? Did you stay up too late? Maybe he just... Maybe he just... Someone's trying to fucking curse us from above. <laughs> oh. Who wants to Who wants to kiss under the mistletoe? Not touch the sacred treasure. Silence. <laughs> yes, mommy. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> whoa, whoa, okay. I like you singing. Dearest, wonderful travelers, I'll have you know that all of you are wonderful and beautiful. Now the story continues. <laughs> the appraiser stands still. She lowers her eyes and listens. The melody fades in and out. She wears an uncertain expression as she looks at her surroundings, her eyes still lowered in thought. She realizes the sound is not in the air, but in her mind. Suddenly, all goes silent. She hears nothing but her footsteps as she walks. She gets closer to a a humming. A man familiar stands alone, overlooking the village. soon changes to a warm smile as he tilts his head slightly. That's a beautiful song. Where did you learn it? Yes. I'm not sure. Where did you learn those words? From, from the memory of standing here singing to you. A memory of me but we haven't met yet how would you have a memory of something you've never did ah uh, I'm not sure this song uh, who are you I, I can't taste your ether at all taste a person's ether that's that's incredible but I don't have any I'm not a ghost I'm an artisan I work here in Eternic Village you are a traveler aren't you yes I'm a traveling appraiser by trade and trader by appraisal uh, uh, I'm here looking for an ether. Wait, what are you smiling so white for? <laughs> I don't know. I feel relieved. Like, I just learned an old friend is doing well for themselves. Uh, that sounds really weird, though, doesn't it? The appraiser finally breaks eye contact with the artisan and stares down at the village. Not the strangest thing I've heard today. Not at all. Perhaps we knew each other in another story. The artisan joins her, observing the, vi the busy village below. My bad. Another story, huh? So, how do we know if we are the main characters of this one? I guess that is up to whoever is writing our lines. We are at the mercy of the great script in the sky, I guess. And what if we don't want to say our lines, though? What if 
we want to be free? Where would our wills exist if not in the lines describing them? In the mind of the reader, I suppose? Is... Is this how you normally talk with people you just met? The same question can be asked of you right now. Well, okay. Before this conversation gets any weirder... Listen, I, I'm on a quest. Mr. Artisan, yes. You see, there is an ether crystal in this village. I can taste it. Do you know where I could find it? It's right near us, actually. There is a knight visiting the Desert Kingdom. Coffee, you want a cookie? Look over there, by the time tree. He's holding it while praying. He has it moved in several hours. Oh, oh, yes, finally. It's beautiful. Oh, wait, how long have you been here humming? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I should get back to my shop. I'm behind all... I'm behind on all the gra engraving orders I have. Here, take this as a memento of our, uh, our weird conversation. Oh, this looks like a rare herb. I don't have anything... Oh, wait, yes, I do. Oh, here, I was told to give this potion to the most attractive person in Eternic. <laughs> uh, is this... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. It, it, is this from the Alchemist Angel? I'm sorry. I, I don't want to touch it. Uh... Please keep it away from me. No I, I don't want to get poisoned. <laughs> I, I don't want to die. Um, oh, okay. I'll tell you what. You could just ask me on a date. How about that? The appraiser grabs back the love potion and pours it onto the grass, which promptly wilts. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was toxic. Uh, just keep the pretty bottle. Anyways, yes, I want to learn more about engraving. So, let's meet again this afternoon. It's still early, so it's a date. How about that? The artisan smiles and agrees. The appraiser watches as he disappears into the busy market below. My friends... Please replace the rare herb you carry in this chest with the love potion. Where did the herb go? Okay. Don't lose it. Uh, I mean, replace the rare herb in this chest with the love potion you carry. <laughs> the appraiser then Quotations. reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, we have... Windmill Hill. The pumpkin patch, the farmhouse, and the giant tree. You have 60 seconds to discuss the we next location. The, place the appraiser will me. search for the Windmill ether crystal. The pumpkin patch. No, it's the pumpkin patch. Windmill Hill? Sorry, this is the monarch. Yeah, it's gotta go to the windmill. Okay. Yeah, it's windmill, right? One second, I'm reading out. Yeah. I'm not confusing me. Yeah, I, I got a sneak peek. I, I do recognize that, and that makes no, sense because it's looks like. Um, don't, don't. It kind of, you know, it has the same. Oh, right. Style to it, I guess? That's like the worst thing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing a bad. Whatever they say, you to know. Your being here has inspired me to continue to do the most techno diet for the ending. We'll get there when it's yet to see. Wow, you mean people ever discuss this? Nice job, hey! Oh, I'm going to take a look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to take a look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to take a look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to take a look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to take a look at the camera. Oh, I'm going to take
he can be kind of be. He can be kind of. I've watched a man get murdered today. Yes, because we're at a point where we have to actually, our interactive part is yeah. what oh, it determines our ending now. Have you seen the tree with the tree? Yes. Yeah. 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 Deception for you on that, that'll be good. Thank you for your insight, Reese. I'll make sure I keep my eye on you. I don't know. After the tree is what, uh. What we're working on currently on getting correct. Wait, I'm sorry, a taco? I just got the vibe for the tree. I'm looking at those my two ideas in my head, but mostly the tree. I think it's a, it'd be a lot more fun getting get in front of the first run of a tour. Or trying to be like, oh, everyone doesn't, nobody knows what to do yet, so you all get a figure it out together. I think that's a lot more fun. Yeah, for sure. It's like, yeah, this is my first time playing and some people are like, it's not the tree, it's not the sneaky windmill, don't you say that. It's like, I don't know, so the sneaky windmill is the tree, and maybe made this happen. Yeah, I'm... I go. Uh, we we got to do this one that was only for newcomers uh, a couple weeks ago. It's got your name on the back. But the newcomers had like told everybody of what they had done, so we everybody knew the correct path to take for the best ending. Time has expired. Time has expired, my friends. Wonderful friends. Lovely friends. Lovely, lovely friends. Time has expired. Thank you. You are all so wonderful. It is not so often that we have a group where everyone silences for the narration to continue. I would like to take this moment to thank all of you for being so wonderful for a story to continue. Now then. The wind picks up swirling through the market square, and the appraiser walks toward the hill. Looking up at all the windmills in Eternic as she passes, my friends, please follow me this way. Professional So I have a problem. That's right. field of whole wheat. Wheat. Yes. Wheat. Lots of burnable wheat. Who's ready to make some bread? bread. Oh, that's work. Oh, I'm ready to make myself some good old fashioned glass right here. Yep, yes, yeah, sir. Right there. That's some good old fashioned glass right there. Yep, yep. Did we, did we lose it again? No, it's actually here. Yeah, Offer, yep, yep. Hey, buddy, I don't know. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, no. Hey, I don't know. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no.
When the appraiser reaches a hill of windmills, she turns and bows to her single audience member. She sees them laugh before she turns and goes up the hill. There is bread and butter next to a rocking chair near the front door. Just then, the old farmhand approaches the mill and sits in the rocking chair in front of her. Welcome to Windmill Hill, friend. Thank you for that a mighty fine performance earlier. I'm the miller of the hill. Are you here to buy some flour? Thank you kindly, but no. Uh, I'm a traveling appraiser and merchant. I'm looking to purchase an ether crystal. Would you know where to find one around these parts? An ether crystal? Oh, well, friend, that brings me back. There was one right here in Eternic years ago. Around the... Oh, during the good old days when I worked in the market. It sounds like you remember it fondly. Is there a story surrounding it? Hmm, well... I held the strange things in my hands, I tell you. I looked right into it. I remember. I, it was like I could see my past and future memories at the same time. But the, the people... The, the people walking around in there... I think they noticed. Anyways, I auctioned the crystal off to a serious-looking man from the Grey City. I'm afraid he left after, but... He did pay me a fortune for it. You see, the auction was the best day of my life, miss. I proposed to my rosy cheeks and opened this mill right after. I would have never stood my ground on that stage without her. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. You, you probably are interested in an old man's story. Sir, you took the time to stop your field work and speak with me. Please. Tell me the story. I would like to little... No, I would like to know a little more about the history of this village. Well, back then I, I worked in the auction house, gathering the market excess each season. My dream was to run the yearly grand auction, but I was too darn nervous to speak in front of the unfamiliar folk. You see, everyone came from all over, and... Well, that was until the bakery girl started helping me practice. She would set little bread loaves of all types propped up in the auction house chairs. She even made little faces on them out of sweets. She had me practice speaking every week to an audience of, uh, well, an audience of bread. When the day came for me to do my first auction with a real audience, I... I was on stage staring at her and in the front row. They placed that fancy ether crystal on the table next to me. I don't, I don't know where it came from, but, you know, I, I looked at the audience and I looked over at it. And I froze. I, I, I froze, I tell you. So many people were watching. I, I just couldn't get a word out. And it was embarrassingly quiet. The bakery girl, well, she stood up, and she walked right up on stage with me, and she held my hand. I was, I was so nervous, I, I didn't even turn to look at her. Sh she got up on her tippy toes, and, and you know what she did? You, you know what she did in front of the whole gosh darn village? She, uh, she gave me my first kiss right on the cheek. Y you betcha. I, I turned to look at her and her rosy cheeks then. That was all I needed. I, I gave the gosh darn best auction this side of the western lush mountains I'd ever seen. You see, I owe who I am today thanks to her. I, I just wish there was more I could do for her and her bakery. Your dear rosy cheeks sounds like the warmest person. Thank you for telling me your history. 
Hmm. She loves using rare ingredients to bake new kinds of bread, right? How about this exotic looking herb? Goodness gracious, miss. That's a torpedo token. Found in sand like caverns under the Great like Desert. How'd you right get that? It, it would be perfect for my rosy cheek. Let's see. Hold on a minute. Ah, uh, here it is. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, Miss. I want you to take this. This is a magic staff. I was saving it for the Harvest Inn auction. If you think it is worth a fair trade, I will gladly take that torpedo toe herb off your hands trying to remember and give you this. People with a similar name. The appraiser so, immediately senses powerful doing? ether within the magic staff. She agrees to trade, making the miller overjoyed. She says goodbye and then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, you only have a few places left to decide which to explore. Your locations are the pumpkin patch the giant tree, and the farmhouse. You have 60 seconds to decide the appraiser's next step. I have no idea. Isn't it the pumpkin patch, right? Because we need the pumpkin to give to the, to the farmhouse. Yeah, so we, we go to the, to the, the, the place. No, it's the pumpkin patch. patch time. Pumpkin patch. <laughs> See, Jack Skeleton is hanging out. You're welcome to post pictures in the Discord channel on the Discord. Yeah, we shall go to my home. Pumpkin. If you wish to stand inside, then so be it. Your comfort is the utmost importance. Oh my god, sudden lag, what the fuck? Oh, I heard Group Hog inside the cube, let's go. Oh, there you go. Do as you wish. Group Hog inside the cube. 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 Yeah. Bring it in. And suddenly, it's a little warm in here. I don't feel lonely <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Thirty seconds, my lovely, wonderful friend. Ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Your dick is all in beautiful. Amazing reaction. Yeah, 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 Put that stick away, mister. I know where you're gonna put that stick. We put it somewhere. No, 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 no. Hey, how you doing? No! Stick! My stick! My stick! My stick! That's a word. No! Who took it? Who took my stick? Like two no. Like that. Oh, okay. Oh, my friend. 
friends. My friends. Brother. My friends. Hello. Please gather around. The story will continue. Ren? Yes. My no, not you. you Never mind. Ren? Um, one of my friends crashed out, and then they're back at the beginning. Can you run for them? I get it back. Okay. okay, please. Thank you. Their name is Mizugaya. You don't have friends. My friends. My friends. It's the story continues. I see some of you over there frolicking in the fields. Well, I hope you're happy because you should be because you have every right to be because you are wonderful. Frolic in the fields, please. But the story continues. <laughs> I'm gonna have to hop out and join in desktop mode because my headset is dying. Aggressively happy. Be happy this is a friend. <laughs> Hopefully I shall return. Fingers crossed. My friends. Please have mercy. My friends. <laughs> Can we continue oh. on with the story? I will give you mercy on my child. I will not laugh. You will not break me. My friends. <laughs> Listen carefully. <laughs> the story continues. <laughs> hey, coffee. Hmm. I'll be back for a second. I'm uh, continue. A few friend request accepted. Apologies for being late on that. All right, my okay. friends. We have to choose okay. the next location of the appraiser. Okay. What is the choice? I'll be back. Oh, that's cool. I have an interesting question for all of you. Oh, there are many newcomers here, and you do not know the correct path, but you have said the pumpkin paths. I ask you, newcomers. How do you know that the next choice is the pumpkin patch? What happened to let you know? Because <laughs> pumpkins are magical, and so is that stuff. I want to use the magic stuff. Oh, I don't want to just go to the pumpkin I patch. I kind of just want to go to the pumpkin patch. Because my dad died. Oh, my God. Like, I was thinking I fucked up her name. That's magic. That's magic. That's magic. That's magic. That's magic. That's magic. My friends, my friends, my friends. It's become clear to me. It's become clear to me. Yes, it's become clear to me. Wait, what you say? You are an example of why we are. I repeat, you have become an example of why we are so good. Why we are so great. Because the rat or another friend or anyone has told you the truth. Told you the greatest answer. Told you the path to good. Friends have told you and have shared to have listened. This is what it means to be human. Everyone stop for a moment and listen to what I'm talking about. The people that have been on this tour before have told you the good ending exists in a certain path and you have listened and shared in this knowledge in the revelry. Is this not what it means to be human? Is this not what it means to be one is this not the meaning of true love yes we are getting so close to something so close so close friends you broke she did it if you are implying that my blood pressure is powered by wholesomeness, you are correct, and the story continues. You are not allowed to speak anymore. My friends, to the pumpkin patch, this way. Pumpkins. To the pumpkin patch! <laughs> to the pumpkin patch! <laughs> Do I get to be a pretty princess? The last time I've been to a pumpkin patch, I was like five. He said, let me out of this conversation as fast as possible. Leave the world behind. Leave the way of boners.
your cube? My friends, I'm so sorry, but I have bad news. Did we fuck up? We no! are in the middle of a tour, and the characters that we narrate are depending on you. In fact, their lives are at stake depending on the choices you make. In fact, the characters may die depending on the choices that you enact. So I implore you to listen carefully because we don't want anyone to die. That's These characters bad. exist in a storybook I'm not below us. That. Well then, Rendizo, my fellow tour guide, are you ready? Yeah. My friends, at this time, make sure you have my fellow tour guide Rendizo's avatar fully shown. Make sure you click them and click show avatar for Rendizo here next to me. My friends, the story continues. The market is rich with the smell of spices. The appraiser sees. My friends, apologies, but your silence is appreciated. The appraiser sees a great many raw and prepared groceries from a fresh harvest. One thing stands out, though. There are pumpkins all over. And every single one she spots is infused with a bizarre ether combination. The appraiser was trying to count each pumpkin, but lost track when she tasted the air around one up close. This is some advanced magic. Definitely not the work of an average infuser. Something's going on here. She walks the street leading to the pumpkin patch to investigate. There, she finds a man lying on the ground, holding a pumpkin up close to his face. Listen, I know you're in there. Come out, speak to me, please. Anything, give me a sign. Oh, sir? I already bought you full of my love. Is it more water you need? A plenty of sunshine. What else is there? Um, uh, excuse, me. Uh, excuse me, are you the one responsible for infusing all these pumpkins in this village? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see you there. I was just talking to my vegetables here. It helps them grow. Uh, actually, pump 
pumpkins are not a vegetable. They're a, a, a fruit. Uh, yes, yes. I am responsible for all of those expertly infused pumpkins. I'm the great pumpkineer of Italic, and soon to be the greatest vegetable mage in all the world. <laughs> um, no, pumpkins are a fruit. Well, okay. Well, while being a great mage, you must know about an ether crystal. Yes, I just need to find a way to infuse ether of opposite emotions at once. Normally, you can only do a few that are adjacent to each other on a known spectrum. If only there was some tool that could hold a dispersing charge. This heavily infused magic staff? Ah, uh, yes. I taste about 12 ether flavors packed in here. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I need. My vegetables will no longer be just food. The villagers, they'll no longer call me crazy. I'll be famous. Uh, pumpkins are not... Uh, oh. Listen, that is... If I give it to you. Okay, Mr. Pumpkineer, do you have anything to trade? <sighs> oh, all right, here, take my finest real pumpkin. pumpkin. One bite, and you I will embark on a thrilling adventure of the senses. I don't think that's a fair trade. Tell me, if you succeed in whatever you're working on, Mr. Pumpkineer, what will you do next? Hmm, well, I'll use my creations to bring joy to Eternic. The, the villagers are all so kind, even though they laugh at me, they still buy up all my pumpkins every harvest. They even invite me to their family dinners and parties. This place is my family. Your family. Your family. All right. Promise you will do that. Promise you will take care of the villager here as family. And you got yourself a deal, Mr. Pumpkineer. My friends, please do not touch the chest and take one of the pumpkins out of the patch. <laughs> one of the normal pumpkins. Now give the magic staff to the Pumpkineer. A Pumpkineer, get jiggy with it, A. Wait, where did the staff go? Uh, right now, I think we've had the staff. To the end of whatever. Oh, oh, there it is. I put it next to the chest. Whoever grabbed it, grabbed it. Well done. Well there you done. go. The You're Pumpkineer right now, agrees to the deal, and before the appraiser can ask him anything else, he runs your color off, chatting to a pumpkin in hand. Are you switching? I'm thinking of it. <laughs> Either Seventh Ghost or Alice. Probably Seventh Ghost. My friends. Ghost, My friends. Well done. Well, well done. We have selected all the correct paths. And we are so close. More happy Russian noises. I now ask you. The appraiser has two final locations that she reviews. The appraiser has the giant tree and the farmhouse. Which location do you choose? You have 60 seconds to decide. Farmhouse. 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 Is this the farmhouse? Farmhouse. 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 Are you are you sure we can get the smelly mo? That seems like the best option. That's always the best option. The last one's no. Well, 
Wholesomeness, sorry. I, I said wholesomeness. Oh. Wholesomeness? Oh, I couldn't hear. I'm sorry. I'm fucking Yes, sorry. but it would be worth um, it. There's it times when wholesomeness is broke to beat down, I'll say that. You have, you watch a wholesome show, you're like, aww. Oh. So it's so wholesome and your, your emotions inside break, you're like, aww. Oh. And you just melt inside. I would say that sounds like that. Maybe a little bit of a yeah, or I took it down in volume so that I could carry it out longer. One time, there was a group of tourists that asked me if I got tired of being wholesome, and I told them no, and they said why. And I told them that I didn't know, but I know that if I could breathe wholesomeness, I would breathe it like air if I had control over the rules of causality and physics in the world. I don't know why, but causality is kind of a scary word. My friends, 10 seconds. That made me flustered so much. 10. Nine. Where are we going? Seven. Farmhouse. That's just your perception. Oh, yeah, farmhouse. Look at the farmhouse. Oh, yeah, buddy. No, that's Trey Mac in the background. Story continues. My friends. My friends. Kind yes, attention, yes. you wonderful, beautiful people. Friends, do you know how lovely you are? Do you know that know your I'm observations you. should be gazed uh -huh. toward this way to undiscover more there, loveliness, sexy. but not as lovely as you? Please, yeah, this way, friends. You don't see what I look like. on Discord. Hello. My friends, because I can hear you so good. The story <laughs> continues. I ask everyone. <laughs> Where? Shh! Her search for the ether crystal. The farmhouse. 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 I hear the farmhouse. Does anyone object to this decision? Nope. Nope. Do you know that one time we had someone object and they made a very good case and they were very cool? Well, let's go to the farmhouse. <laughs> Yeah. Well, wake you know, up. today's the day of fun. Right. Wake up. Victory. Wake up. You have a city to It better be cool. Uh, one day, one day, some I'm just gonna object and say we go back to the sneaky uh, room. No. Pull some up. Sit hard on. Okay, go hard on the hard. Yep. Passive aggressive. <laughs> <Good one. laughs> what the? Passive what are you talking about? You want to know why? I am. I have a dream. Oh, you're a hyena. I have a dream. I sit with you. I sit with you. Maiden. Okay. Storytelling, I Sleeky. Oh, 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 Someone once asked me if I'd ever get tired of VR travelers. I told them never, and that was the truth. Oh, we love 
Are you sure about that? Come here. Yes. Yeah, how's the cure? I'm sure there has to be one single group that I've seen Oh, it's definitely not let me tell you, I've had a group that oh, no. had made every effort to derail the tour. They went so far, let me tell you, it's not what it seems. They wanted the story to end, they didn't care. In fact, they asked me to marry someone from the tour in a mock wedding because they didn't want to continue the tour. And I did it. I married them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <Jesus. Continued. laughs> That's the true ending for all of VR travelers. You're just gonna, you're just gonna marry Shane. Yeah, this all, this whole thing is just an Atome game to date the cube. I only wish I had nipples if we made the cube of Guys, once upon a time, Shane was the cube Once upon a time, Shane was the pastor and the priest for my own wedding. Once upon a time. Oh, okay, so I know who I'm, who I'm inviting. <laughs> I'm inviting Trajan and Shane. What? Not me? I love to say this to anybody. Q makes a great wedding. <laughs> I feel hurt, Curse. <laughs> Jesus. I get no invite. <laughs> you get an invite. Progress. Since so to him. Okay. Good. My friends, my Hands friends. Leaking. I know that many of you oh, have have been excited to say nice things about me because I am the tourist. Are the tour guide of this tour. That's not true. But I ensure you to understand that the only reason, the only, I repeat, the only reason that this tour is good is because all of you make it good. All of you all. Nah. 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 It's not nah, so nice. 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 What would you do with a drunken tour guide? What would you do with a drunken tour guide if he did not know where to go? This time I'm not drunk, thankfully. Or, regrettably. Not sure. But the story is This time. This time. This time. My friends, the story continues. We have NPCs that are waiting to play their part. And I repeat that all of you must remain silent during narration because many have prepared a wondrous performance and you all must listen carefully for there are others playing their part. My friends, listen carefully. Apologies. The appraiser sees the rolling fields in the distance. She closes her eyes as she walks, tuning her senses to the ether in the air. It isn't usually thick in this village. Understanding her unique gift and how to use it took a long time. Ether is an accepted but poorly understood force in this world. It seems it can be, it can best be described as the metaphysical energy that makes up a thought. Those thoughts must be attached to an emotion to take an ethereal form. Conjuring emotion without specific thoughts leads to about a flame while conjuring anger will light a fire. Creating fire is possible with other emotions, albeit much harder. Through years of practice, the appraiser can now identify which emotions are being used in magic. She does this all through a sense of taste. How many known emotions are there? She wonders. What would happen? My friends, what would happen if you found treasure? I mean, timeless, untold treasure 
And then you married true love. And then you had a baby all in the same day. What if you then baked and infused a pie with all that day's positive ether? What would that pie taste like? The appraiser thinks out loud now. I bet that pie would be super yummy. She snaps back to reality. When she, snee when she sees she has arrived at the farmhouse door, she knocks only once and it quickly opens. A very attractive farmer stands staring at her. <gasps> Is it you, my love? Oh, it's you. Anyways, I thought you were that dashing artisan here to pick me up for our date. How many more days is he gonna make me wait? He knows he needs to let me pay him for his engraving work. Such amazing work he did on my kitchen oven. Nearly burns my food when I think of him. I tell you what, he didn't even care when I said I didn't have the money to pay. He just did the engraving anyway. <laughs> I promised him a date for it though. <laughs> he said, maybe later, and well, it has been a good many laters. I am going to show up today for our date. Hmm, but I can't do that empty-ended. I need a gift, and it has to be special. Maybe there is something magical I can make for him, too. going on here oh so you get my little old predicament do you hun i'll see you brought me one of them fancy ether infused pumpkins darling that is exactly what i need now don't worry hun i know you were one of them gr gr great merchants sniffing around the market i bet you're looking for the fancy ether crystal that knight is carrying around. Well, trade me that there fancy ether infused pumpkin, and I will tell you how to get that fancy crystal from that fancy pants royal knight. My friends, please replace the pumpkin pie in this chest here with the infused pumpkin that we carry. Thank you kindly, darling. Now, give me just a bit. This oven is fast. All right, here it is. Now listen, while it is still hot, I need you to deliver this here pumpkin pie to the table for two. I need time to prepare for my date. I will meet you there soon to honor my part of the deal. Before the appraiser can respond in any way, the attractive farmer slams the door shut. She sighs, then reviews all the places she can explore. My friends, there is only one place yet for the appraiser to explore. My friends, three, three. the appraiser looks upward. And she sees the giant tree. It grows tall over the village. And she feels... No. She tastes a strange numbing spiciness in the ether surrounding the area. She needs to investigate. My friends, this way. Here we go. Road again, let's go.
think you sounded okay, but I... No, you sounded good. Close, you so I didn't get the 100% sound quality. <laughs> Oh, that's what I really as long as it didn't sound like I was peeking. Yeah, it no, wasn't. I don't know. Who said you are the pumpkin? You pumpkin what? <laughs> Let's wait for Rendiza. I think. Oh, there he is. All right, friend. The Hi, story. Three can. Ah, we're making good time, actually. Well done, friends. We're speedy. The tour is almost over, but the good ending, well, you're about to find out how far away you are from it. <laughs> I still feel like we should make Stopping in front of the entrance to the giant tree, the appraiser observes a young soldier. He bears the crest of the great desert kingdom across his armor. He leans against the wall of the entrance, scratching at the cracked paint on his armor with his fingernail. Good morning. I see you're a fellow traveler. On an adventure all the way from the Great Desert Kingdom. The bored looking soldier slowly blinks. He turns to look toward the giant tree, sighs, then back at the appraiser. Hey, all wish. I'm waiting on a prayer, literally. His holiness of the sword is back there praying to the time tree. Om Justice Cry. Sworn to follow his every boring order. Oh, what's he praying for? To the time tree itself? Nah. To the time tree for a crystal or some shit. Or something. All I know is that I spent me team training every day for combat, and now I'm stuck with some crude paladin from Nissan. He doesn't drink, he doesn't play cards, he doesn't go out in the evenings, he won't even let me curse. To squire for a knight of the Allied Kingdom is the greatest honor the king. Yes, that's what the king brother said. We all read it in the scripture. Oh, blast the stand. Sure it is. While they go out and fight sandworms, I'm here used as a doorman of the flippin' pack donkey. <sighs> Sorry. Ah, uh, it's quite all right, Squire. I'm sure there will be honor in this, uh, trial you bear. I'd rather be a doorman of the Zill Bar bathrooms. At least I'd see some action there. Sounds like it's going to be a while, and you are overdue for some excitement. Mm. I was going to offer this, uh, super ether-infused pumpkin pie to the Royal Knight as thanks for his protection, but it will be cold by the time he is finished. Sounds like it would be a waste of his disciplined senses, so why don't you have it? I'm sure you would appreciate uh, the mind trip that each uh, bite offers. <laughs> Blast his butt plate, he would, if he saw me eating this. Okay, miss, I'll offer you the honor of washing the entrance here. I'll go enjoy this for a bit. Be sure not to let anyone through. Can I trust you? The appraiser happily agrees and hands over the infused pumpkin pie. She waits until the squire is out of sight and then enters the swirling ether field of the time tree. 
my friends. This way. Squire voice is on point. Ooh, that's a nice sword. Ah, oh, there's bread here. No, Interesting. Where's the sword? Ah, oh, the sword is still here. Good. Okay. My friends, the story continues. Oh. It has just occurred to me that there is a high chance we are going to reach the good ending tonight. I hope you all are on your wits, and I hope you all understand what's at stake here, and I hope you understand that that the characters could die if you don't get the good ending. It's almost one in the morning. Wits are not something I'm capable of right now. Emotions? What are those? One in the morning, among I'm the so many sorry. days of your life, a small sacrifice to make. My friends, listen carefully. The appraiser approaches the night and listens to his prayer. She completes it out loud. Just a moment. Here we are. The appraiser moves slowly toward the giant tree, staring up to see how high it towers over the village. As she walks, she tastes a strange numbing spiciness in the air, surrounding the area. Standing in front of the tree is a tall, broad-shouldered knight, armored with silver-worn plates. Hello. Holy Knight of Nissan, have you finished your prayer? Hey, miss. No interruptions, please. Ah, it's all right. I've finished. The long prayer is complete. However, an unexpected vision was given. Why were you praying to this strange tree? The ether aura around it is so strong. Most consensus, uh, I thought the Church of Nissan did not believe in an ether as a source of God's strength. You're a clever one, traveler. The Holy Knight turns around. I am here on a special mission. A mission given personally by the head of church. And the Desert King. You see, there is a great evil presence in the southern regions. Our mech forces have detected it as near as the Ava uh, coast. They are warped monsters, and they are beginning to wash ashore, uh, all full of dark ether. Surely, you have seen it. Yes. Is that why you are here, carrying an ether crystal? To help guide you to the source.
Not exactly. You see, this tree is special. Within its core, ether seems to travel that belongs to both the future and the past. Perhaps even other worlds. This ether crystal I hold acts as a window for me to peer into time. I hope to look into the past to see the source of this evil presence, and hopefully find a way to stop it. In my current state, I am not strong enough to confront whatever it is. I heard Holy Knights from Nixon are masters of light ether attack magic. Uh, I can sense it. You have great power, but... I sense an imbalance within you. Yes. I've fought the beasts roaming the southern regions. Animals composed only of dark ether should not be able to exist. The imbalance would kill them. Something is very wrong. The only thing effective against them are infused weapons. I saw a vision inside this crystal miss a vision of an unholy force with a demon at its center i saw myself in battle and i saw my sword break before the vision ended therefore i also seek to do what the church would normally forbid i seek to infuse my weapon that is why i have come to eternic do you understand, Miss Appraiser? Rumors are of great engravers and infusers here are well known. The Appraiser stares at the massive holy blade the knight carries. I believe I can... I know several experts of both sorts in this village. Uh, we would need that ether crystal to make a weapon powerful enough for you. Though, uh... Uh, I would like to study the ether for mm, the ether crystal for my own reasons once we are finished. I would return it to the church afterwards. Uh, yes, M may we make a deal? <laughs> you recognized my crest, and I sense honor about you. Please, gather the experts you speak of, and I will wait here. The appraiser nods and quickly goes on her way. The The appraiser walks back to the market square. She thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic. My friends, follow me and listen carefully. Listening is hard. Friends, the story continues. The appraiser walks back out to the market square. She thinks back to all the people she has met in Eternic. She needs both 
an expert engraver, and an expert infuser to successfully help the royal knight. My friends, do you all understand? The appraiser is seeking two different people with different skill sets. My friends, the appraiser must make a choice. And so must you. If you choose to look for the infuser, please stand next to my fellow tour guide. Rendiza, move farther away to the side where you normally do. There you are. My friends, if you choose to look for the infuser, please stand next to my fellow tour guide, Rendizo. If you choose to look for the engraver, please stand next to me. You have 30 seconds to make your choice. Shit. I think something needs to be a choice. This is mm -hmm. exactly a choice. Mm -hmm. There you go, there's a choice. The appraiser, as much as it is, it's like, like the choice you wanted. Like Mainly because okay, I remember who the engraver is and I don't remember who the infuser is. If you want to be physically active, go for the insane. If you want to be mentally active, go for the go with scene. If you want to they definitely out. need people. They definitely need people over there, though. They do. That, yeah. That one needs More people go. Than this one. No, go. I would recommend. <laughs> Veterans, please feel welcome to tell the newcomers what happens if either one side is not completed. You die, I die, we all die. Goodbye. Ten seconds. You're like glitching now. It's too bad this is like a hammer. I'll probably be glitching. Okay. Is okay if you can just let me know what Wow, we have people over here. Yeah, like the actual gun is like four times taller than this, but I couldn't find a properly sized avatar. This one looks nice though. It's a scale model. You have to become one with yeah. stones. Alright. So, uh, curse. Stone noise. Those of you that have chosen to follow Rendizo, farewell and listen to Rendizo's words well. He is your new tour guide. Understand that if you fail Rendizo's quest, we will be on path to the good in to the bad ending. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Thanks, Gene. Thank you for the hand, guys. Don't fuck up. Okay. <laughs> now, don't don't be afraid to go all out, man. You're supposed to go all out on us, That's right? You can mimic that. I'm gonna go all out on my two lines. Voice of sin. No, I mean like all out in your yeah, like hide and seek skills, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, is this the part? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get off my bed for this. Thanks for laying down on your face. Uh, that battle Word, please. Oh god. I can't see you. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, it's fine. I'm a patient individual. Who lives in a pineapple? Under, under the sea. Under the sea. Find Bob Squarepants. And no me. It's a poor as it is. Go and simply see. Find Bob Squarepants. Otherwise, 
Oh shoot! Uh, I got cloning on. Don't ask that. Oh no no! Kind of of, uh, you should have kept it. We could have all been huge. You see, you see what you're depriving us of doing. It is your fault because you pointed it out. And anyway, it's time to story. <laughs> It's time to story. story. <laughs> time to story. Okay, everybody, shush. The appraiser remembers the several infusers that live in the village. She thinks of the powerful ether she sensed in the pumpkins and decides the pumpkineer must be the most skilled infuser here. She wonders if he succeeded in his strange project. She walks quickly to the pumpkin patch. Walk quickly. Oh, how did? Okay, I was just. I'm only running. I'm not running. Please don't say it like that. <laughs> sees the pumpkin ear on the ground, wrestling with what appears to be an animated pumpkin. Dang it, stop trying to run away! You're gonna snap your vine! I just wanna tell you about all the great things I got planned for you. We're gonna be famous. Let me go, for God's sake. You're not me dead. You can't control my life. You're just a little twat who can talk to fruit. I made you, and you are a fruit. Let me go! The apparently sentient jack o lantern escapes the pumpkin in grasp, snaps its vine, and bounces away. Dang it. Hey, Miss Appraiser. Gotta help me, please. Bring back my dear jack o -lantern. I will do anything you ask, please. I beg you. The appraiser accepts the quest. And now I'm going to explain all the rules to you. Rule number one. You all must hunt for the sentient jack o -lantern. Today, played by NPC Pshmo across all of Eternic Village. Once found, you all must chase and grab the sentient jack-o'-lantern and carry it back here to the pumpkin patch. Rule number two. The jack-o'-lantern is allowed to try and escape from your grasp until it is past the pumpkin patch fence. This means the NPC can grab it away from you if you have not put it back here where we are at right now. Rule number three. There will be two rounds. The time limit is five minutes for each round. You need to win both rounds to pass the quest. Rule number four. Wait, let's get a head count first. Someone count for me. Uh, one, two, uh, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. Because there's two, there's, there's one rooms. person in God over there. Yeah, if you want to load, there you go. There's actually someone in. All 15 of you must be back inside the pumpkin patch with the jack o' lantern before the time runs out or the quest is failed. Uh, rule number five. 
The jack-o'-lantern is only allowed to hide in places that require no jumping, flying, or swimming to get to. This means no climbing and no going in the water. Hiding inside no-clip structures is allowed. And rule number six, no jumping or climbing allowed. Only the NPC is allowed to jump. They're not allowed to climb, so don't worry. Um, a little thing that I should mention first. Don't be tall. Stopwatch or something going. Uh, a timer. Give yourself like a four minute timer or something. Four minute timer. Yeah, four minute timer. That way you got a minute to come back. So we can all hear that. Isn't this a jack o' lantern we're looking for? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Smoke? Smoke? Where is Smoke? Do we have to find Smoke? Now we gotta find Smoke. Uh, Smoke? Did he not know he has to take the pumpkin? I think he might have. Um, Forgot about it. <laughs> no, no, there's no cool, way. So I told him this twice. Oh, they're full. Maybe it was the time. This was the this was the clue all along. This was the clue all along. trial. The trick was it was here. <laughs> yeah, we that's found the it. trick. That that was his final clue. <laughs> I feel okay, like we should um, get a point for me. that. <laughs> yeah, but I mean we did. Is this any percent? We, 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 we yeah, it's any percent. It. <laughs> any percent. It's any, any percent <laughs> speed run. <laughs> yes, any percent. <laughs> I am a good speedrunner. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Where'd he go? Safety was oh oh. great at this. Magical. He needs the pumpkin so you can hide with it. Uh, uh, okay, so don't Wait, we call no, the first tell, run. Don't tell him to change spots. We <laughs> don't call the <laughs> now. <laughs> he was running back up the hill. He was running back up the hill, so. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't have to go yet. And he's already gone. So... Is that him? Hey, hey, hey Rendezza, yeah. where is it? Why? Is flying allowed or is that not allowed? No, 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 no,
The pumpkin mayor says that the appraiser should first try speaking to the other pumpkins here to ask where the jack-o'-lantern went. Everyone, please grab a pumpkin and lay down on the ground and speak to it out loud for 60 seconds. Be sure not to peek 60? at anything okay. except for the pumpkin in front of your face. Where's the pumpkin? Where's the pumpkin? Where's the pumpkin? Oh, he's oh, he went, went that way? Is that where he is, pumpkin? Tell me more. I'm this jack of the lantern. Let's go. Leave. Leave. Hey, Google, set another timer for four minutes. Hey, Google, set timer for four Surely he's not learning to this. Guys, we got it. We got it. You gotta be inside the gate. Be inside the gate. Good job. Nice job. What are these others? If everyone gets inside, then we're good. We're missing coffee. And we're missing coffee. Not while it's inside, okay. 
missing. Well, they have a minute and a half to get back, so they should be good. We got it, we got they it! Got the timer. Yeah. They, hopefully they set a timer. Yeah. We got it. How many people are we missing? Oh, there's or coffee. Did we get everybody? Hang on. Oh, we got it? We got it. Yeah, we got it. Oh, black god. Oh, oh, what would I do without coffee? Uh, Who uh, found uh, it? I am... Um, I think I was the first one to start chasing, and then some other people nice helped. There's gonna be a second round now. Um, did you... Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't there when I explained the rules, were you? I thought we ran away from you. I did. Did not? Okay. Yeah. There are two rounds. <laughs> um, I actually when they try to take it from you, you're supposed to take it back and make sure they don't get it. Just like keep it away from them. Basically. Yeah, they're like out, like out there. Yeah, that way. So they find me and like take, the, I take it back. the field, oh, the farmer's house kind Yeah, of they there. find you. You still have the ability to take it back and run and hide somewhere else. Here. Oh. And you can jump, so you do get the speed advantage. Yeah, he was all over the map. Yeah, yeah. No climbing, though. No. Yeah. Amazing. Alright, okay, round two. Everyone get on the ground for 60 seconds. Are we allowed seconds. to jump out of that hole? No. Yeah. Where is Stay it? in the hole. Here, pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin. Oh, he's gone. Tell me your What is inside your gold? What is within the pumpkin? Bring me to enlightenment. I need your money! I need your money! I crave the gourd! I crave the gourd! Give me the gourd! Give it to me! How to end up out here? Onwards. All right, pumpkin. Time for your soon, your soon to be death. Now come here. Now allow me to. Yeah, I was there with you and you got it. 
I went the right way, but you found it first. There's six. I literally only knew that you charged that way because I thought you were off. Wow. Can we extend it to three rounds? No, please, no. <laughs> 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 Fuck it already? <laughs> Holy crap, okay. Yeah. I saw a few people out there. We'll Listen, we already what? won Two twice. You can deposit more than just boats in my bank. Oh, bring a sword. Hi, bring a sword. Scourge, on the field. To come back here. Scourge, you step on the rake, it'll on just like let you out. Holy crap. This is what the take is. Oh, All the horizon. Oh. You ready to be the bad guy? Seconds. Now he's gotta hope the other team is doing just. Oh yeah, everybody holds still so we can count. Sears, I remember. Let's get three questions right. Oh, there she is. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we got it. We're just running around chasing for the right thirteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, we're right here. We got the pump number. Sounds like we're good. Right, uh, yeah, we are. We won this part. Now we just gotta pray for the fired bonuses. I think we can do it. Oh Jesus. And, uh, she always get more script. Just don't forget that. Ha 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 ha. Copy. Yes. Yeah. 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 The quest is passed. We did good. We have a little bit, bit more dialogue. Yes, we are. Do you start or do I? Yeah, you start. start, I believe. Alright, we'll everybody, listen. The appraiser hey, managed hey, to catch huh? the sentient jack o' lantern and bring it back to the pumpkin ear. Thank goodness you're okay, Jackie. I thought I lost my only family. Bloody family? You wanted to make an inanimate object into a sentient being that surpassed your own level of intelligence. But you barely had any to begin with, you don't. You realize how many bloody pumpkin corpses you got lined up in the backyard from your experiments? I'm nothing but your ticket to fame. Nothing to do with you. No, no, no. You're not just my ticket to fame. You're my family. This, this is our family. I want you to be a part of it with me. In an emotional embrace, the pumpkin is united with his cre He says he will honor his promise to help the appraiser and go with her to the time tree. Alright, let's go. Pog. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <laughs> I really hope the other team did well. Copy. That, that's the only thing that kept us from winning last time, I think. What? Last time... Uh... I can't. Oh, so I was with the, again, no, last time, last time I was with the I other group the and we didn't win. Yeah, we failed. Yeah, yeah, the other farmer. side is really difficult the last time I've been over there. And Lucian's the farmer yeah. this time, right? Yeah. Yes, Lucian so. is the farmer. And one thing that really helps the difficulty is I that hope we win. Like the we, the they need question. three out of three. Yeah. No, they need two out of three. They still need two out of three, wouldn't it? Yeah, two out of three. If you can't run up with a woman, yeah. Of Thankfully. <laughs> so they get one error. It's also Lucian on that side, so it's... What, what is the other side trying to do, anyways? So, no, they have to answer three, three questions, do. essentially, and they're philosophical oh, right, the they... questions. Gotcha. Let's hope they don't mess it up. Hi. Hi. We did our part. Right. I think we have a little bit of so, time anyway. Liz was getting off. Yeah. He's trying to get off. He comes up really. with pretty good questions, so... Oh yeah. He's the one who originally solved the original riddle for the painter. So yeah, he just types oh, wow. it out. 
Been oh, wow. days. I still have the message from when Lucian said, "Oh, I, guys, I have I have this amazing uh, uh, answer planned for the riddle. You got I don't know if it's correct yet, so I'm not sharing it until tonight." It was like, yeah, that was what? Really and, that was the, and that was the right one. Right? That was it. Yep. Yeah. It was very very good. I guess we've had our good days and our bad days. I guess the worst day here was when we tried to get the bad ending on tour. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to see that went ending. horribly. Because we already solved the good ending, so we were like, what if we try to get the bad ending and then it would just kind of solve the novel? Like, oh, yeah, we shouldn't do that. Josh. <laughs> because you had to sabotage like, so much. You're like, no, I don't want to destroy the experience. <laughs> if you get the truly bad ending, uh, uh, Jing, uh, Jing and Trey just find your IP, they just come to your house and kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Although I will say, you got the, the bad ending. <laughs> when we were trying, I, I had so much fun improv and I was like, Oh, you wanted the report, sir? Um, here's your water uh, survey. You have a little bit of acidity in your water today. And then uh, Trajan just looked so, like, unamused. <laughs> he said that to me. Someday? Excuse me. Will you kill me someday? I promise I they, they got all executed. Yeah. <laughs> I will be oh, right back. Yeah. And we were only a little bit off the framing as well. Because uh, Lucian answered the hey, riddle correctly. I didn't do that with the rest of our session. That's what Sean said. <laughs> I'd say the only way we could actually go for the worst thing is if we say? only have a better end. And that's a rerun of the thing too. The Emperor protects. But the Space Marine strikes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we will be remembered in the Book of Honor. And we can't without the Space Marine. We are. Let's see another X level secret. We will be remembered in the Book of Honor. I can only brute force so many combinations. There's just too many. Why is it million? Yeah, there's billions of combinations. I'm like, I can't brute force. My cat decided to use me as a sniper, and she had paws out the whole time. Now one of them got to a few thousand, so I was able to. Sorry, I guess I'm doing this. He sounds, he sounds like the guy who did Nasu in Fairy Tales, and the guy who did Nebula in. Uh, wow. I don't actually know what happens on the other path, so it's kind of hard for me to say how they're doing. I've never been on the other path. Yeah, I don't know if that was like implied or not. Yeah, you say more of an interesting question, you will give it more interesting. He likes more like more interesting yeah i played the attractive farmer once and they they, they beat me so it's uh when i was against lucian one time uh it was just yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i was bad i was Did like oh gosh lost? oh yeah we lost hard oh, oh crap Maybe no lucian's just really good at coming night. up with scripts yeah true did i miss anything Yeah, I'm like 
excited about the whole project. It's, it's oh, wow. too terrifying. We're basically, oh. I'm looking at the 3D printer I have, and I'm basically <sighs> designing it off of that. Um, with the modified parts, because it's not... You look like you're just vibing with, with just, like, comfy clothes on. Um, I people put... Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I can relate, you know. Um, totally, I can totally so relate, you know. I don't even have fingers. <laughs> like, this is what you do. You have little stubs, right? You take ping pong paddles, and you just tape it around. That's what it feels like to have these. I don't know. Yeah. So you can just play ping pong. Like. But even then, I don't wear oversized sleeves. I still have a bit of an arm right here, though. If you look inside my sleeve. It's just a little bit of an arm that no one ever removed. But I've been, I've been, I've been doing a lot of modeling for it and stuff, and putting a lot of Be a gamer. So I, I kind of was a bit... Am I a gamer? Of course I'm a gamer. Gamer. Like the, this is my Halloween avatar. I haven't even updated it since then. <laughs> this is one my Halloween one? So I think... And the only thing Halloween about is the uh, pumpkin. <laughs> no, this one doesn't have the pumpkin on it. I don't want to play the sound, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're in these specials? I guess I could do this, right? Here we go. This one has fingers. This one's wrist is a bit off, though. Or not wrist, uh, tracking is a bit off. There we go. I wanted to make it so that this has a middle finger, and then I'd be able to just change the ether here to red. So I'm like, mm. <laughs> that'd be great. Just go. Rock on. No, this is just the bartender, Sheen. Oh yes, hello. Yo. What's popping? Uh, I don't know bubbles. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Hello. You just fucking. What? There are huge robots. Go on. The what? Think I kidnapped cool Sheen. He's my full head body, now. Huh? Yeah, so. <laughs> Sheen is my head. Better than me? Thank you, man. I like your shirt, though. Wait, you did the tour of the painter. Thank you. It's my it also looks like you're just vibing here. It's like, yeah, vibing. Everyone else has either, like, this e boy stuff. I'm not, not a, no offense, but <laughs> no one ever happens to like comfy clothes. I was just meaning to just go off to nowhere and not actually. You wanna, you wanna say that a little louder? <laughs> Hey, can you just show? Can you just show my avatar real quick? Just, just, just like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That is very poor. Uh oh dear. <laughs> oh, I'm, 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 a, I'm, a, I'm a half memetic meme complex. I don't die. Yeah, but Dark Souls is a meme. Oh, you'll find out. I think they did it. I think they succeeded. I, I wasn't even meaning to do that. I was just thinking like, oh, you know, most of the people don't wear like like comfy clothes like that. In VR chat, they just wear like... Cool stuff. I really want to record this. This stuff. Mm. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Ricardo is always beautiful. It's interesting that the robot is always always always. That was a better witch, and I should prepare. Even though I said heart, so yeah, I said I swear to God, I said heart, but apparently I didn't. Nice. I said body. Like Bobbing the entire body. Thing, that said it wasn't specific with that. Oh, oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, it. My, my friends, my friends, my friends. Where is Rendizo? Oh, there he is, over there in the back. I just have to explain to my mother that I broke Everyone the bed right Rendizo, please come here. Stand next to me. Can we have a pee break or something? I just been to have like. Just a funny picture. <laughs> That'd be That's all. Right. Yeah, all right. I'm, I'm all right. Yeah. Everyone dies. The it end. just freaked me out. 
Okay. Actually, tells everyone in all the other stories. Too. My friends, we are approaching the end of the tour, and I request that everyone now use this time as an intermission. If you now need to take a, uh, as some would call it, a pee break or, or a uh, Dobian break, you might now do so. But I will wait for you for exactly five minutes. No. For now. Okay. I've been holding piss inside of my body for weeks hey, now. I've actually already passed out three times. Wait, you guys succeeded? I said I would you were. I fall asleep once already. I did three times already. I finally eat. Yeah, I'm okay. Is Sal sleeping? Like, wait, am I? I've tried hard to defend. For once, I'm pretty much true. We all did. Like, he is the pumpkin. <laughs> Shane was the pumpkin oh, that we were we looking for all along. Did, 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 we, did we win the I know. Like, 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 round two was the, actually, you know what? Who won? won this because without round two, we wouldn't have gotten anywhere. They won. They they got this thing. It required 30 seconds. Are you serious? Yeah. 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 Well, not have enough space in they, 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 they got the pumpkin here. Yeah. Yes. I just heard that. Yeah, I see. I'm, 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 I'm kind of offended. They never even took it from me. I am. Okay. She, Lucian, I'm freaking out right now. We're, we're, this might be it. I actually have an avatar with pumpkin on its head as well. Really? Hey, hey, uh, Sal. Sal. I made it. Ever since there was that over there. Yeah, Check this out. Stupid, oh, stupid, stupid. Oh, stupid. Are you gonna be arguing? One. Nice. Two. No. 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 Bad. No. Bad. no stop. Oh, yeah. Do not okay. Is there anything else? Job, sir. Yeah. Sir, you're inside the <laughs> <laughs> you would have gone and made some coffee, but I feel like that's But I have a hammer! Sounds like the other side, the other side. So, do you want to hear some bad news? Who brought a hammer to a gunfight? Me. Your hammers have no effect. Your hammers have no effect, motherfucker. Your guns have no effect. This did go. We just dislocate my wrist and use the pointy end. Yeah, because this one's about 30 feet tall. I guess you did say about 3 or 4 hours. Fight, fight, fight. But the real one's 60 feet tall. Hold up, wait, wait. It's so, like, no, I'm probably gonna make it to that. Like Smash Bros. So, should I make it so that my uh, so I'm I'm probably gonna make it so that my sunglasses are my are my uh, toggle for the. Uh, I think I'm not a teacher. Oh wait, wait, I'm gonna put this down a little bit more. I'm gonna put down like a little bit more. Guys, guys, there you go. There we go. Did they get the infuser? Yes, yes, they did. We get the good ending. Yeah, we, we, I beat, we, me and Amber beat Lucian. It's Amber. Did you explain to her what and me we're doing? I swear to God, I really hate I the fact that Zine, Zine was doing. looking for one thing. I said the hmm. one, the one thing I didn't uh, say. Uh, I was God, looking I for. Stephen, myself on the call for a bit. Look, man. It's Sheen. Sheen is a hard mode boss. Yeah, you you need to teach me more. I'm honestly impressed we did as well as we did. That was just a question. What's your difficulty level? Explain something. I don't have a difficulty level. I'm the default difficulty. Everyone else is easy mode. You're deep. Okay, you hear this man? This man is playing on easy mode. Wow. I wanted to explain well, I something. Uh, I said okay. that was that was my answer for a fucking oh, no. homework assignment, mate. A homework yeah, assignment. Yeah, that was your problem. I went into that. Yeah. What was the question? My answer. I was not at all prepared. Yeah, exactly. I just went in there and bullshitted my way. Oh, I wasn't. I wasn't either. I wasn't prepared either. I my college experience. I got snacks. Yeah, that's same here. It was so. Go in there, bullcrap everything. Right. So check. Look at me, I'm gonna- I'm gonna boop you. I recently chose a lot I was surprised that it didn't fall apart at the, uh, R here. Like, the- 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 my patience is growing. I cut myself off and now I can't oh. My love for you Hello, is Ellie. growing thicker and greater and forever more. Because oh. you are lovely and wonderful. Oh, thicker. Greater. 
I don't think no, 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 I want to have Everything is a wholesome bone in here. No, no, Ellie, Ellie, okay. Ellie, so Ellie. Saying, Ellie. Right? You get turned yeah, on by See, well, everything is actually wholesome, yeah, okay? That's what so you're looking yeah, too much into it. She ain't she, she, she like that. She doesn't make any oh, in, uh, innuendos. I will never make innuendos that are from the the forbidden word sexual nature. See, he gets it. <laughs> well, you, you did talk wait about the blood pressure. Wait a minute, didn't you share porn? I noticed there was a hole in the window <laughs> <just> there. <laughs> you, you did what? A mouth of our eyes. What? See, 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 see. It's not just me looking too into it. What did you do? Don't call us. She, what the fuck? She wouldn't do something like that. Oh, the original Game of Gears game, and there was the naked Sophie. Yeah, am I looking too much into it? Or are you not looking into it enough? She, what the fuck? My friends, have mercy. My friends. She, why? I just stood up for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me participate in the sharing of pornography. My freaking jokes, my little, bull, my little jabs. I saw his true nature. I saw the I'm going to true nature. You know what? I'm going to go shut down. Yes. No, no, no. 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 Yes, yes, yes. 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 Don't. My friends. My friends. Please, my friends. Look at Drake there. The innocent penguin standing there, watching all of us, not saying a word. Because it needs Continue. He knows that your wholesome handiwork is true. I reinstalled my driver. <laughs> well, congratulations. Also, there's stuff inside oh, your head. Oh, I get so giddy when I'm tired. And there. Great. Well, that's well, good. There's so nothing in your so head. <laughs> well, the Don't corrupt. Yeah, there my is friends, nothing in my don't head. Corrupt. It's empty. My it's friends. as empty as my soul. Yeah, yeah friends, listen <laughs> carefully. Yeah. It's just another way to connect Why? to another. It's not really corrupting, yes. is it? My it's friend, just another way to connect I am to a cube, another. and I know not the human nature. I make my advances to understand your humor, and I say things that are ridiculous. And I do so in an attempt to be closer to you. In fact, you almost understand that if I attempt to say something silly and humorous to be closer to you and it falls into a category that you would see fit as uh, inappropriate or the word that you so often use is horny jail, then you would understand <laughs> that... <laughs> Bonk. Come on, let's go. Here, do we need a bunk? You need the bunk. Oh. Let's bonk. Bonk. Give him the bunk. Bonk. 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 I, I hope For you worse. can within your right. forgive me. Yeah, ju just don't your presence will home. always be welcome. <laughs> always enjoyable. In fact, we welcome you in trading on our world. It is quite amusing. Unless you want to go. I hope you can forgive me, and I will do my best to not say such things in the future. If I do, please forgive me, and I'm I'm very sorry. And please, I am such of the pure nature that I hope to be of. Uh, observed. My friends. It's 2 a.m. for me. Can we can we move this along? It's My 2 a.m. for me. Can we it move this along? It is 2 a.m. and you are not sing. in horny jail and you are a hero as observed by 2021 standards. My friends. Oh boy. The oh man. tour continues. <laughs> I still have to sing after this. Why do I hear boss music? You are hearing boss music a bit early. Just wait a few minutes. My friends. The appraiser returns to the time tree with both the artisan and the pumpkineer. This way. Got it. Wait. What if this is a trap? 
What if this is a trap? What I'm being Link. I know, I know. God My damn it, friends, humans. I made a promise. Your attention, Bro, please. Okay. Listen carefully. Goes for the medic, too. <laughs> the, rip, the appraiser returns to the time tree with both the artisan and the pumpkinier. The whole night notices and welcomes them all with a serious face. This person here is the Pumpkinier. He is a powerful infuser and an ether mage. Uh, strongest in the land. And this person here is the artisan. He is an expert engraver and master artist. Excellent. Artisan, sir. Mr. Pumpkinier. I put my trust in you both. I trust the appraiser has told you the important nature of the task at hand. Well, let's get to work. Miss Appraiser, please hold the ether crystal. I must enter into prayer. The Holy Knight hands the appraiser the ether crystal, and for the first time, she sees it up close. It is, a, it is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it. Her mind seeming to forget her limbs. My friends, it is at this time that I must all ask you to hit the escape key on your keyboard and turn down the world music to zero. I repeat, hit the escape key on your keyboard and turn down the world music to zero. Now it's just eerily quiet. Now it's just, oh. I don't like this. Mine was already pretty quiet. <laughs> Yeah. That was just I, I honestly okay, could only quit. hear it during a few certain moments. Very, My yeah, friends, you will find that in the settings menu. Some of you have messaged me telling me you don't know where to find that. That setting is in the settings menu. Hit escape, go to settings, and you will find the setting there. For those of you that have messaged me, don't worry. We will wait for you. It's also under audio oh. volume world. Why aren't you cool? All right. The music in this world is quite wonderful. I suggest you turn it up during the non-cataclysmic parts. Well then, <laughs> the story continues. Oh, oh, boy. Why? Well, this takes away all uh, intensity. If, 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 it's, if there's no music when there's cat when it's cataclysmic. No, that's not yours, Link. You already have one. Ben, that's not yours. I'm scared. You already have a sword. <laughs> I need a hug. Stop Please. ripping your sword. Go find some. <laughs> the appraiser ex what? explains that this person here is the pumpkinier. He is a powerful infuser and ether mage, strongest in the land. And this person here is the artisan. He is an expert engraver and master artist. Excellent. Artisan, sir. Mr. Pumpkinier. I put my trust in you both. The ritual begins. The Holy Knight hands the appraiser the ether crystal. And for the first time, she sees it up close. It is a dark purple color. She immediately has trouble looking away from it. Her mind seeming to forget her limbs. What sort of prayer should I do while they were? One of God's temperance? Or one of God's courage? No. 
not to God, you are willing to try something not normally done by the Nissan sect. Uh, correct. Instead, I'm asking you One to pray to your kill. most innermost thoughts and feelings. I'm almost done. I, I didn't expect it to be this long. Sure, uh, me, Mike. I don't. Oh, sorry. The Holy Knight quickly changes his expression to one of disbelief. You recite the words of the old teachings. Teachings done away with. Almost forgotten. It doesn't make sense. No, no, no. Who are you? The appraiser is not listening. Now she is focused on the purple crystal in her hands. The artisan, now holding the holy sword, ask if he may begin. The knight of Nissan nods. The artisan works with quick works. Movements. His eyes close every few moments and his hands stop moving. Each time this happens, his engravings, his engraving tool glows bright with heat ether. The Holy Knight watches between prayer verses and thinks to himself that this man works truly like an artist, treating his blade as a delicate tapestry. Time passes in silence. Finally, the artisan is finished. The markings are strong, ready to be infused. The Holy Knight observes and quietly, quietly tells the Pumpkineer. It is now time to infuse the markings on the blade. The Pumpkineer takes the ether crystal from the unresponsive appraiser. He grips it with one hand while placing the other on the holy sword. He stares at the time tree for a moment and furrows his brow in confusion. He gives a dismissive, dismissive expression and closes his eyes. Now, off to the side, the artisan watches silently. After a while, he turns to look at the appraiser. His hands twitch. A slow wind begins to build. The squire looks around in suspicious confusion. As the wind swirls between them, the artisan and the appraiser trade glances, mutually wondering why this feels so intense. Again, they nervously look to the crystal. Its purple surface is reflected in the appraiser's eyes. Its dark, core glow its dark core glowing more opaque. Appearing to her, a scene plays within. Apologies, friend, just a moment.
Ah, uh, apologies. Here we are. A massive airship flies over a sky filled with fire. Flashes of light are bursting in the air. All around the vessel, below, a man stands on a cobblestone street, surrounded with people, screaming and running in terror. Ignoring the panic, the man watches the airship in the sky. He watches it collide with a structure, a structure not connected to the Yet, it is filling the... Not connected to the ground, yet it is filling the entire horizon. The man winces in pain and anger. And as an ignited sky is reflected in his eyes... He pauses, now standing under a firestorm of falling wreckage, slowly turning his head towards Mr. Prazer, is everything all right? It seems we are finished. What fine work? Hand me the blade. Ah yes, what power? Hmm, I can understand why my oaths were written as they are. Though I have broken those oaths, I will not break another. Mr. Prazer, please take this strange crystal so my I may retain some honor. Well then, please excuse my abrupt departure, but I must seek out my squire and journey to the southern region. as the Holy Knight is unceremoniously accompanied away by the villagers onlooking. The appraiser watches stunned and with a blank expression she reaches without looking and places the crystal in her backpack. Finally she turns and stares at the tree. With the ether crystal now in her possession, the appraiser Ah. The art medicine says you saw it too, didn't you? I did. Can we go somewhere else to talk? Away from this tree? With the ether crystal now in her possession, the appraiser follows the artisan to his village home. My friends, to continue the tour, please follow me. Well, that wasn't a cataclysmic Whoa. doom ending. Yes. So that's progress. Yes. Wait There's for it. still yeah. fucking we, 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 we more. Blind at this point, we have no oh, idea what's oh, going on. Wait a second. You wait, wait a second. Don't give a fuck. Fuck. Well, at least these streets are cobblestone. Narwhals, narwhals, making a commotion. I'm, I'm, com I'm thinking that in a previous tour that I never seen, this is it was part of it. I was a lot of the floating tree on the side. I haven't been a part of this for that long. Oh boy. Inside! Is a... I'll, I'll stay Did out climb? here. Uh, climb? This? this is a very small house. Burn your house the, the, no, darn. The artisan lives here? Mm, little fucking loser. Wait. He lives the life of me. Where did the uh, ominous cube go? His name is oh, Shun, and he's right there. Right there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you can't corner. just call someone ominous. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, Sheen, do you want to be called ominous? It's okay. We're almost it's, done. It's fine. Okay. I was, How scared I should was we be? Things are happening. Oh boy. 
Ancient immortal big. That's him in the corner. That's him in the spotlight. I just didn't see him. Notion. Oh, there There's Rendiza here. Uh. Ren. I don't see Rendy, so I'm gonna look around. It's okay. He goes absent sometimes. But I think everyone's here. Alright. My friends, the story continues. The appraiser asked if we can go somewhere else to talk. Away from the tree. And with the ether crystal in her possession, the appraiser follows the artisan to his village home here. The artisan opens the door and welcomes her in. She looks around, noticing the mini engravings tool, the mini, engra mini engraving tools and sculptures displayed. She then notices a set of papers on a table with familiar sketch designs. She takes one of the papers and finds a seat. There are the plan. These are the plans for the engravings you do. Uh, it looks like when they are drawn like this in a line, it, it kind of is like a, a line of text. What do you think engravings allow? Why do you think engravings allow ether to be infused into things? Are they the symbols of some sort of language? No, I don't think so. They are more like drawings to me. But that thought has crossed my mind. The pumpkin ear is able to use the shadows of a lit jack-o'-lantern as a second set of engravings in light. This somehow allows consciousness to emerge in fruit. <laughs> Th that's kind of funny. Uh, I guess it's fitting for him to discover that, don't you think? I suppose. Didn't you, th didn't you want to talk about the, uh, the vision? Uh, not anymore. You don't have to be so, uh, you know, scientist-y, you know? I don't understand. Uh, show me some flavor. You're an artist, right? I express myself through art. I am the... Then, how about you make a sculpture of me? I don't have the necessary stock of marble. I always run out by the time harvest starts. The, <gasps> the appraiser looks around and sees an untouched block of gray marble by the window. I see a block right there. Oh, yes, there is that. But a sculpture would take far too long. Don't you have to continue on your journey soon? Hmm. Okay. Then how about a painting? That shouldn't take long, right? <gasps> oh my god, you realize too? I can't remember the last time I painted. I don't have correct pigments, specifically <gasps> the one used for your hair. Oh my god! What? The one, the one used for your hair is from a flower not found in this region. Oh my, so god, I, oh my god, oh my god! I couldn't finish it if I wanted to. The artisan stops and realizes what he said. He looks at the appraiser. 
Her expression is of a comforting smile. Eyes monitoring for him to look behind him. There, in the corner, by the opposite window, is a blank canvas and several small buckets of paint. God, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! You... It's okay, it's okay. You know oh, these... You, you know oh, no, those I, were I, I here a idea. moment ago, don't you? I'm, I'm sorry, did you hear what I said? You know those weren't there a moment ago, don't you? Uh... Okay. I didn't do this this time. This time it was you. What else are we not telling each other, Mr. Artisan? The jig is up. You know what happened just now. Those paints were not there, and now they're there. What else are we not telling each other? You know exactly what is going on here, don't you? Well, it's like I remember something that hasn't happened yet, and after I imagine a different outcome, the necessary changes suddenly are there for that future. Or, I guess it is the present for that to make sense. Ah, uh, you... you have... You have been playing dumb for several things, haven't you? You, yes, yes, and you, you knew that I knew you were coming, didn't you, Miss Appraiser? The Appraiser nods. And you knew that I knew I was waiting for you. The Appraiser oh. says nothing. Oh no. <laughs> she looks behind her for a moment. She holds out her hand, and she makes a loaf of bread appear in her palm. She then looks back to the artisan, and she says, Waiting for m me, so you can finish the painting, right? Y yes, if you are living with this strange gift how are you so hopeful don't you feel like you are not in control where does your endless hope come from why are you not disturbed by all of this the crystals the crystals they hold the clues to it all to other worlds, each one gives a vision to a place I know, but have never been to. It's like a piece of a puzzle. Please, stay with me. My past seems to change with this power we share, and I have no way to, of going back to see what was real. But the visions of, in the crystals, the visions in the crystals, they are real. I know this now because we are near that tree. It must be a natural ether amplifier. Wait. They show a past. We can't rewrite with this power. Have you tested this? Yes, the visions. Th they represent a rendezvous of other worlds and uncertain fate. It was, that God. was not the first vision I saw on the crystal. I... It almost seems present to us, as if it were showing a tale for outsiders to observe, don't you think? I, what I'm trying to say is I don't think we are alone, Mr. Artisan. <laughs> oh boy. Uh-oh. Oh boy. Breaking fourth wall. Oh no. Oh okay. shit. Busted. <laughs> this is bad. The two talk for a long while. The event, oh, the gone. evening approaches, and the artisan walks with the appraiser to see her out of the village. My friends, this way. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh they my just god. look at Holy shit, Lucian. Holy shit. I just, I just no. pictured a train. Me... I just pictured... Wait a minute. Everybody's excited. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The cave. 
Oh god. Do um, all of the but, stories no, tied this is nuts. together. This is nuts. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. That would be incredible. They all Alpha Pack, I really need, I really do need to learn how to check properly if I'm muted. Because I didn't mean that to come off as rude when I was saying it. I hope it didn't sound too rude. I, I haven't been... Oh man, that's incredible. I... I... I mean, I'm, I'm literally still recording. Jet. So, what it is is that this boy. Oh no. Stop here. <laughs> What's happening? Is this part of the story people don't know? Ah, <laughs> oh, there we are. I believe everyone is here. Listen carefully. The two talk for a long while. The evening approaches, and the artisan walks with the appraiser to see her out of the village. My friends at this time, please ensure that your world music is turned off. Now, the late evening, at the outskirts of Eternic, the appraiser stops and looks at the darkening sky, noticing a red moon rising on the horizon. Oh no. Oh shit. Wait. What? Oh no. Where are you going? Where are you going to travel next? It's too late. Why don't you travel during the day? I... I can't sleep near that tree. And I want to find a place we saw in the ether crystal. The place with history we can't change. If you are worried, then... You should join me. Eh? What do you say, Mr. Artisan? What about the vision? The vision of the man under a sky of fire. We didn't see what happened to him. Hmm. Well, let's have a look at it again for a clue. The artisan gives a worried expression, but the appraiser explains they are away, far away enough from the tree, so it should be safe. She takes it out of her pack, holding the purple crystal in her hand now. She looks into one of the sides of its flat surface. The artisan cautiously looks from a distance. The glare of the sunset quickly vanishes as he sees a dimly lit cathedral interior. He hears the choir. He hears the song. And he sees a man running. The appraiser looks deep into the crystal. And she sees a room. A sunlit room. There is a canvas. And a woman dressed in religious garb, sitting with her back, turned to the appraiser. 
The running man, the artisan sees, is frantically making his way across a cathedral balcony. The man looks to his left as he rushes, and the artisan feels a twinge of pain in his mind, a mimetic weight causing him to look away. The appraiser can't see the canvas or the woman's face. So she, so she turns the crystal in her hands to look through another side. Through the next surface, she hears the song and she sees him. The room is now empty. The canvas is gone. The woman gone. The portrait is hung on the wall and the man now not not looking at the walls around him, but now staring through a forbidden window directly at the appraiser. Sophia. The appraiser grips the crystal in her hands, paralyzed, unable to move. Blossom. Oh, fallen seed, and draw upon thy hidden powers. It's him. Look away. The artisan calls. Grant unto thee the power of the glorious titan of destruction. Titan. What? Oh. Just then, a bolt of ether ignites oh, between the crystal and the appraiser. Her arm of dis drop. The crystal, now suspended by a bright bolt coming from her eyes. And she screams. The crystal darkens to a black void. He's... He's going... He's going to kill me. This is the end. He's going to rewrite, rewrite it all. My friends, this is it. This is the ending you seek. This is the power of your will. The appraiser sees you, and the artisan hears you. And he, he reaches for the appraiser's merchant pack. He thrusts his hands inside. Anything, his eyes close. Grappling probability. He wishes for anything that will stop evil from within the dark crystal. What does the artisan wish for? My friends, you have 60, 60 seconds to decide. Huh. Oh, oh, wait, God. shit. Uh, uh, oh, no. Lucian. Lucian. What is it? Let me use my brain, but all of you also use your brain, Jesus Christ. I don't know what, I don't know what to wish for. <laughs> what is uh, I, I, um, I think a mirror. What's in here? That way, the crystal looks at itself. Wait, right? Um, Mutual understanding. Okay, who's all been paying absolute attention? To what's uh, happening? What is? Wait. Uh, he wishes hard pack, for a pack, way please. out of here. I mean, that's that's the only thing I can think of that's been wished by the painter. It's uh, a way to ascend the narrative. It's like a way to ascend the narrative, so they can escape being mm -hmm. rewritten. Woo baby! Mm. <laughs> book. No. Rewire. Right. 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 God, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Can we wish for another ether crystal? Uh, a way to a no. no, wait, wait, Lucian. What about a way to escape the narrative? Um, that's what I just said. I kind yeah, of that's what like he said. Yeah, but Melchin said that. Yeah. Melchin said a way to escape a, 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 the narrative. Yeah. The hammer and the hammer. more of this. This is. Oh man. It's the only thing that makes sense. All I can think of is a hammer and chisel. This is, no, like, the time warp again? Okay, no to communism. Yeah, oh, no. I love this is a hammer and chisel. Owl. That's the only way I can think of. Not a sickle. Right? The only thing I can possibly <laughs> <laughs> think of is a portal out. <laughs> it was from last yes. week. Remember the hammer and chisel from last 30 week? 30 seconds. Okay, so we're going with a way to escape the narrative. He's an artisan. He works on marble <clears throat> statues. He needs his hammer and chisel to hit the stone yeah. and break it. I don't know. Ooh, Maybe. Can we have uh, Wait, the appraiser escape the narrative through the portal, yeah. right? The VR chat portal? I'm game with that. Shattering the Sarge. wall here, right? Yeah. Shattering the Sarge, shattering the crystal into different pieces. 
and then yep, scrap and them around. Forward, no, it's forward, shatter its power, or no, release we whatever's inside. We gotta do a way to escape, that might not work. The only way to escape that is to escape the narrative, Which she's trapped in this narrative. We have to escape the narrative. The way to escape is the way to escape is to ascend. Exactly. Yeah. We give them Just a way like to ascend the narrative. Just like how right? Yeah, yeah exactly. like how did it. Object, like a book so we have to do what? that. So what object would allow you to do that? Why can't they? A ladder? I don't know. It, it was creation <laughs> of I believe, and then he was what I, I don't said, know. I said a book, right? I said a book, right? I forgot the reason why you made a book and fail to change the narrative. No, I don't know. Wait, hold up. Wait, Lucian. It has to be a hammer. Do you remember the stuff you were saying about the book? What else would be in it? Did you decide? Isn't that simple, though? Is it? Lecturer. We might have known if we did completed the lecturer. Ooh. Fuck. We might have known if we completed the night lecture. That actually, we, oh, I'm starting to think about the hammer Fuck. and chisel. <laughs> the hammer and chisel makes a lot of sense. The ether crystal. <laughs> Just pick the hammer and Shadow chisel. And it's our safest option. Oh, a way out. It's more of like a, a high risk, high reward gamble. No, the hammer, if it just hammer and chisel from the left side, the hammer and chisel from the left side. If it's going to be our first guess, it, I'd rather us to not. I don't have enough context. I wish I had a lot more context. So I wish I wish no. it came to the thing. Yes. I would rather us go to the portal the first. If that doesn't work entirely, then we know that's the cross up the list for next time. That's what we've got. I really want to get the, this no, right. No, 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 no. What about way to the rendezvous they saw? Oh, yeah. How is he going to pull yeah. a yeah. portal <laughs> out of exactly the that. Maybe. I don't know. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait, the rendezvous they saw. That's the only seconds. way I can do it. Or a way to ascend. Yeah. Good try. I'm on that boat. Thank you, my tour guide, for granting us more time. I mean, it's an artisan's bag. Why would he have a portal in his bag? Did you hear how the tour guide used the word? I think hammer and chisel would probably be a good idea. Because you would realistically have, have that as well. How would you take out a portal? expired. My friends, my friends, apologies for interrupting, but your time has expired. And I must ask your answer to the question for the story. What does the artisan pull out of the appraiser's pack? Oh, Hammer and chisel. So, so we have to, so to get out of here. Yeah, a way to get out. I feel like I don't really have a say in this. I don't really. Wait to ascend the narrative. We should call it to a vote. <laughs> I feel like we should call it a vote. That's what he pulls out. There's no question of whether it'll actually yeah, happen. Yeah, but you're out of time, you guys. A book and quill and a That time has passed. You have 15 seconds to oh, decide. Oh, a way to get out of the narrative. Oh, Thank God. You, are you so... Book and quill. So it sounds I'm to me like he's asking for something more oh, specific. I'm still on there. There has to be something that we're forgetting. Can you ask for another ether crystal? That the appraiser yeah, the lecturer. The lecturer. We're missing Should we take the, the hammer and chisel? Piece. Okay. You guys are actually going to have to go ahead and go ahead and I don't go ahead. I don't go ahead. We pull out a hammer and chisel. At least we can rule out the hammer and chisel for next time. Hammer and chisel. He did mention a sculpture after all. Yeah, hammer and chisel. We pull out the hammer and chisel. Yes. And beat to the destroy the crystal. The, crystal. It's, the thing is, the red moon and the the red moon is like clearly related yeah, to the lecture. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, and every yeah. other tour. Yeah. 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 Hammer and chisel. But true. What time is expired? We I heard hammer and hammer chisel. Hammer and chisel. Is that? Yes. 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 Any objections? The story continues. The artisan pulls out a hammer and he swings it wildly toward the crystal. It pings off of the side, deflecting his attack, and his arm feels almost shattered. But he's strong. He's not weak. The artisan is no foe to be reckoned with, and he brings the chisel quickly up with his other hand and strikes it forward towards the crystal. But there's no effect. Lightning strikes, and the arcs between the crystal and the appraiser's eyes thicken and scream, and his ears bleed with the sound, and he drops 
For a moment, he looks toward his left, and he sees others gathered toward the village entrance. The sound is unnatural, and it's too late. Such a force, deafening. Is this the end? Suddenly, engravings appear on the dark crystal surface. The engravings begin to distort, stretching to the edges of the crystal, until its shape deforms to accommodate. It turns black. The crystal appears to fold in on itself in the form of a cube. Oh no. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, what? No. An oscillating, impossible shape and a dark magenta flavor. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah. Begins Shin was to the final boss appear all along. And its center, it's red. Fuck. It's red. It appears existing in the reality that all of you hope that it would never exist in. And it's here. Did you think I was lost to stories and time? Did you think VR travelers were enough? Did you think endings are written before they are spoken? Did you think I am talking only to you, Sophia. Did you think VR travelers are enough? Abel. Abel. You're... There's still hope. Abel? Abel? This is not your story. Abel? Abel? This is not your story. This is not your story, Abel. This is not your story, Abel. In a flash of light, of hot light, the appraiser sees and feels the soft darkness and her eyes shut. The artisan walks. The artisan is lost. He leaves, but he walks. And he traverses worlds. He enters others. And he speaks. And I ask all of you, what does the artisan say? You have 30 seconds to decide. Huh? Hmm. This what happened? Oh, I crashed. I crashed. Uh, the what the we need to find out what the artisan says. What does the artisan say? Well, the, the artisan. Well, it's probably uh, something the painter said. Walking, and he's doing. Um, What's something the painter said? Look within yourself. For you. Maybe. Uh, kind of. I don't know about the painter though. Hello, my yeah, friends. Welcome to VR Traveler. Uh, music <laughs> is a mysterious thing. Um, what if it's what the artisan says right might have as he leaves the Han village in the painter? <laughs> <laughs> what is nice? What is oh, yeah. the thing where he blacks out then, right? Okay, so I don't know. Right. I don't. Ah, oh, damn it. This is my job. I was just doing that. Fuck, I don't remember. Mm. Your time is expired. Oh no. Mm. 
fuck. The artisan walks and explains to others that he is nothing, that he is their destination, that he is the void. The others look and they laugh. And this is the end. My friends, welcome to Bad Ending D of oh, the man. Appraiser. We were so close. Oh, we can't get so the good close. ending of this one, so we get the good oh, ending of the others, dude. I think. We, we need so to close. get the good ending in the uh, lecture. Oh, wow. We were so close. We need to know about the lecturer. We need to. <sighs> yeah, the lecturer is something we need to do. Yeah, well, I don't think we can't beat this if one. If we can we figure out... Yeah, it's gonna be. Kind yeah. Of doubt that, to be honest. This this seems like this is the final paint. boss. <laughs> I think we need yeah, to do the painter yeah, one probably. more time. The Let's painter the and the lecturer <laughs> most likely have to do with the good not ending right of now. this one. A bit late. Mm. Yeah, yeah, no. no. <laughs> well, I, I still after think you walk into the room, done contemplating your own uh, your moral Failure. moral responsibility for um, killing the appraiser i'll be waiting for you over here which he's dead <laughs> oh you guys yeah. hold we killed her okay when the appraiser saw people gathering near the gate Jeez. was that us or was that like a future um, group resetting could we could we wish that's the group that's the, the question she's dead. Mm. She's she's dead. that's what i was thinking right Whenever she's yes. looking at, at the, the group around here, right? Was she looking at us directly or seeing a new group appearing out of the portal? That's the real question. Because was the world resetting on it itself? The sword? Or was that a different uh, thing? That's oh, the, the question, right? Okay, so let me repeat. Abel killed her. Oh, He's dang. dead. That was He's so dead? obvious. Why don't we just look within the world? I no. Not just about the world. Abel killed Abel her? Killed I should have thought about her. the sword that the knight took. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, shit. That would have been the good ending. What are you saying? Yeah, the Damn it. The sword. The sword that the, 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 the paladin took. The knight well, took. I guess I mean the paladin. It out, I guess. Oh, you know, you got a that. point. The sword. I don't remember that for next time. I guess. The, first time. This is the sword one of, this of is the ending when you go over and over again. I mean, we're, so we're taking the hobbits, guys, and go hard. Eyes and go Eyes and go hard. We're taking the hobbits, the eyes and go Eyes and go Eyes and go hard. Eyes and go hard. Eyes and I'm thinking it has to be somewhere we We're taking the habit to even get the even get I am too. That's the thing. Such a trap. There's a lot of all the different tours reference. How dare you? The only yeah. ones I gotta look like, at. I understand a little bit is. because there's I said, uh, the, the sword the painter next. and there was Anybody some stuff else hear that? with these characters that mm, are reincarnated and stuff. I think and we so have to go oh, um, the artisan is actually like the painter's painter reincarnated and that's the kind because of Because remember when Trajan was sending he was he got made clear by some stuff. I saw that I was not clear by in Chester. You the kind of thing that I forgot I muted myself on the recording and back, figure it out. I think I'm going to clarify that we should spindle. try the sword next time yeah also my on next stories are not going to be so heavily involved in dialogue uh i promise i'll never make that mistake again i'm so sorry <laughs> no it's i love dialogue though <laughs> it is a bit long nah, man, your voice is beautiful you should keep talking so, talking's good i apologize for so not muting myself when i was talking painter. to my friends because that sounded extremely weird. Is there any dark one? No, 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 Wait, why not? I think it don't say it. I will literally delete the capacity for your soul to exist here. Oh, no. <laughs> oh snap! Okay, I'm scared now. <laughs> so you're going to do that? I to say that was things, Lucian, are you? Who thought of the idea? That's a great way to say all, but just can't rewrite you. things. <laughs> I'll delete Guys, the capacity I'm, I'm for your soul. The tree, the tree is supposed to be the like the focus, right? 
the focuser of ether, ether, ether right? Okay, so the sword was so... bathing in that focus. After this, they, they do kind of like an after party thing. We yeah, so I, I see. What if that sword would have been fine? What if that sword, if we striked it with the sword, hey, it would have overcharged the here. um so this was my crystal thing. This breaking it and shattering it? Because I have to stay up. I have to stay up. Yeah, I have to get back on yeah. so I can welcome her What's back. So. Big brain time. This is big brain time. What I'm going to say again. <laughs> yeah, so. I got two hours. Um, yes. Yes. Yes, I do. The tree is a natural ether oh, amplifier. Oh, I see. We pull out the tree. Thanks, Jim. We pull. <laughs> the tree just comes out. Pull out the tree. <laughs> what is it? The tree. All right. Um, <laughs> we need to stop the recording. Tree down. <laughs> um, I will post the recording later. No time. There, and I was like, <laughs> okay, later. Be a much later. Hug. Like do. tomorrow. Okay, Lucia. Um, I'm pulling out the sword next time. Okay, hold up. <laughs> yeah, I I know, I know I need to go to sleep. So 